Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. <laughs> Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. But get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. <laughs> Welcome to the 5150 show where we try not to kick up dust, but it happened around this bitch. <laughs> that's my problem, man. I be saying shit that's on my mind. You can't always speak what's on your mind, everybody. You know that. When you say what's on your mind, drama comes. Too much, yes. No filter. Right. <laughs> but speaking of bullshit. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to make some motherfuckers mad this show. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I want to start out by saying this. Last week, I was talking about some shit that happened with me and um, Gary Owens that I hope that I squashed between us, but I feel like I kicked up some dust between uh, me and comedian Pierre. Really? Yeah, because I talked about what him and uh, uh, Gary and Pierre had a sort of beef going on because um, it was out there. That Pierre said something to Gary wife about things he might be doing on the road. Mm. But I talked to Pierre. And Pierre said that is not true. Oh, there we go. So that's how you clear some things up. Right. So I'm saying to myself, like, come on in, Nate, have a seat. Nate here, everybody. Nate back off the road and shit. Nate back and down. Let me make let me let me let me finish this thought though because I want to make sure Pierre. I mean Pierre called me like niggas should do. I want to apologize to Pierre because I said that I thought it was a fact. Found out after talking to Pierre, Pierre said that's not a fact. That's not what happened. Uh, and he said in fact he got in touch with Gary about that thing and it was squashed. Uh, but bottom line, I want to say to Pierre, live on air, if that shit ain't a fact, man, I I, I made a mistake. Because I thought that was factual after I talked to him on the phone. I told him why I thought it was a fact. But Pierre said that wasn't a fact. He didn't do that whole shit. And I believe him. I believe him. So once again, I, I fucked up, put my foot in my mouth. Pierre, I'm sorry. You know you the OG. You was the shit in that movie, Baps. Y'all remember the light-skinned nigga in that movie, Babs? That's that's Pierre, god damn it. A well-known comic from out here. You know, I, I met him when I was a new jack. I opened up for Pierre. So it ain't no... My bad if that ain't true like that. You know what I'm saying? Pierre, you said it and I believe you. Uh, I don't want to get all deep into it, but I'm just saying. One day if you come on the show, if you want to talk about the shit, we can talk about the shit, but on me, my bad. Um... But, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, I got that out there. Uh, what's up, Nate? What the fuck, nigga? Where you been, nigga? Nate. I've been every goddamn where. You been working, huh, nigga? God. That's good, nigga. I'll take it. I've been everywhere, though. Nate be, Nate be getting it in on this road and shit. Seahawks. That's a Seahawks hat. Oh, okay, that's that's Seattle. Yeah. But you wish you had a hat like this, don't you? I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> I have no jokes for that hat. I want that hat. I need the ridicule. That's why I wear this shit. I wish I would be on here. The problem is, like, what do you wear with that motherfucker? You see what you I got on? I got ass ass shit on. Regular ass outfits. Right, nigga. I'm, <laughs> I'm irregular. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> Look like you just Zo, what's up, nigga? What's happening, Pim? Zo, Zo, the motherfucking business mogul nowadays. <laughs> got, yeah, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to talk to Zo. Zo got shit going on all yeah. through. Uh, everywhere. The I'm trying to see his niggas gonna make this dash. What is what's going on? Right. <laughs> gonna make this dash. Stop I, it. I start. I'm starting to ask you questions. Right. 
go make shit happen for we niggas. We got to get it going, my nigga. If you got, if you got some motherfucking talent in Zoe eyes, goddamn shit, Zoe might be able to get you a little showtime. Oh. <laughs> Somebody say up Jeepers Creepers. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> be smelling niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Jeepers Creepers, the freakiest yeah. motherfucking monster I ever seen. Ain't that the one that smells your fear? Right, yeah. he's he like to smell you, goddamn. Yeah, he didn't caught me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I heard some bullshit, and I'm gonna go ahead and kick up the dust because I be on that shit sometime. I heard, <laughs> I heard Steve Harvey ask Monique to apologize about something she said about Whoopi Goldberg. What? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, right. if you know Monique, Monique ain't that motherfucker who gonna jump because you know Steve Harvey. You know Steve Harvey like industry boy now. Yeah, industry boy now. You know he gonna do whatever he got to do not to burn bridges with the industry. So well, I thought it was off the air or it continued off the air. So still an industry boy is out there. Why the yeah. fuck he wants somebody to apologize to somebody else? And you know I had my opinions about Monique. But what Monique said had me dying. How the fuck you want me to apologize to somebody who was with Ted Dancer while he was in blackface? How do you argue with that? <laughs> How do you argue with that? That's what she said. Do you remember when Ted Dancer was in blackface while he was with her? What, was that a movie? I don't know the time, how you say the frame, like when it was, but I remember he, he had done that. I remember he was fucking with Whoopi. He was on his motherfucking, fucking, I'm going to go and fuck this thing um, shit. Ted Dancer? Ted Dancer, the whoopee was an item, goddamn it. That nigga was wearing you know, hats like you got on. Right, he was, for real. I thought they thing. got married too, you D. This you hear this? Man. Fuck he was like, going and fuck this thing. I won't, I, sometimes you go through shit like that. I had an elderly bitch fetish at one time. Did I used you? to... I used to like to look at elderly bitches naked. I, at one time, it went away. This one stanky elderly bitch fucked it up for me. I was like, what get was your funky ass out of here. <laughs> what was behind that? What? I don't know. I just had a fetish. I believe Ted Danson had a thing fetish. And uh, him and Whoopi got married. I mean, I thought it was a joke. And it turned out to be a joke, if you ask me. Because they got married? No, they just dated. You're right. No. They dated? Somebody said, that's Zoe's woman, Corey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Danson was in blackface while he was with, 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 with Whoopi. I ain't never forgot that. That's why when Monique, from what I understand, Monique said that shit. According to one of my sources, uh, Goose the Great, uh, I was laughing my ass off because I remember that. Right. I was like, that is true. That's fucked up. What the fuck was Whoopi on back then? I don't even know. I Motherfuckers know, I be pro black until the industry come at them. I didn't know it happened. Mm. Motherfuckers be pro black until the industry come at them. When the yeah. industry come at you with that, you ain't got to worry about it no more, paper. Motherfuckers you will got, go there. You ain't got to worry about it no more. You ain't got to worry about it no more, paper. Do whatever you want to do, man. I'm you talking about that paper where you can pay for your houses out here in L.A. Mm -hmm. It ain't no problem no more. Right. When motherfuckers come at you with that money, motherfuckers, go to fuck it, I sell out. Go visit Trump at his tower. Get the video taken, act like I don't know, Steve Harvey. Yeah. Remember when he was at Trump Tower? Well, they just told me to show up. Get your puss ass out of <laughs> here. You knew what the fuck it was. Now you're trying to get motherfuckers to apologize for industry people, but the truth is, man, everybody ain't gonna be apologizing for shit like that. Help Somebody say I got on my hateful eight outfit. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I didn't see your name, G. My man. <laughs> Help me to understand, Corey. Is he is he in the middle of the dispute, trying to get one person to apologize to the other? Man, I know Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey got an agenda, man. I met Steve Harvey, man. You a pussy motherfucker. I wouldn't say this shit oh, unless wow. I really felt that way. You a pussy motherfucker. I hope y'all meet him one day. So you could be like, I oh, I this met a bitch-ass nigga. I ain't never <laughs> met him. I, I want to because he's I, I hope you meet him so you can see you're going to be floored. He my frat brother, but that, we, are, we all different, though. There's a lot of diversity in Omega Sci-Fi, but I would like to meet Steve. I'm glad, he your, so I'm glad he your frat brother so you can see how pussy motherfuckers really get down. Because I'd have met the nigga a couple of times, and each time it made me go, mm. <laughs> oh ass nigga. Uh -oh. Well, you do know that the minister is now his fat frat brother. Who is the minister? Of the Nation of Islam. So Farrakhan just pledged? 
After 60, <laughs> after 60 no. years, he's an honorary member of the Q's. Oh, oh they gave him the honorary shit. Yeah. Uh, we you know get in the gut. gut. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Don was just no. being nice. He go to one of them parties. He, he gonna be like, nice, I got no, to get away from this gay shit. He has to accept. You, know, you can't just be honorary and not accept it. Mm. You know, just Why you can't accept you it? No, he, he would have he had to accept the, to. The regalia, he got the whole. Oh, he out? He got the whole shit on. Oh, that's wild. He a nice guy. Yeah. I hope they don't ask me. I don't be if you don't get this gay shit to fuck off me, man. <laughs> I'll be fucking with you. But you put that hat on. <laughs> Ain't this a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I did that on purpose because I know they don't like when you talk about his motherfucking fraternity. <laughs> this nigga rode in here under a horse. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh, uh-uh. Well, Come this on. is the Q don't shit. Don't Look up the Q this. shit. Let's go, Google them Q parties on the internet. Niggas with they assholes out at parties. Is that what happened? Deep fi deep. You're looking at a country ass chapter in the middle of nowhere in the 70s. You can't talk about Jesus and the Q's with Nate. That happened in the 70s? No, no, that was like, that that really was like 92. (laughs) Fuck y'all niggas, sticking on me on that motherfucker. Okay, so what happened afterwards? Nigga don't like Steve Harvey, but he be wearing his hats, nigga. Well, I'm just saying, you know, Monique snapped back, and I can't get mad at Monique for that because, first of all, Apologizing is something that I think people should do when it's sincere. Mm. <laughs> I started yeah, the show off thought. with an apology because when I think about it, man, PA ain't never did nothing to me. Mm. And if that shit ain't true, it's just when I thought the shit was true, I was like, mm mm-hmm. huh. mm, that's some whole shit, nigga. But PA say that ain't how it went down. So I missed what it. you said he said. I also I also didn't see none of this stuff between Steve Harvey and uh Monique and them, but I did want to say I heard that her uh her new uh what the shit in Vegas, where she's a tenure act or whatever. Who? Oh yeah, she just signed that. Yeah, I heard she that she. I heard residency. that she's killing it. Residency, yeah. Her residency. In oh, Vegas. Really? she's she performing in Vegas. She's got a residency. And That's I heard she great. Is, she's, I heard like the numbers are nuts. Like Vegas is now People like. We, who, here, what other black acts can we get down? I was just gonna say, yeah. you know, when black acts yeah. start going to shit, that Rudy Poot shit don't work no more. Mm. So I hope, I hope she's killing it. I yeah. hope she is. They Look, say she, they say she's crushing it. Like. Way beyond what they expected. Wow. Okay. Good. All right, okay. Monique. Shit. I'm glad. I'm glad. Mm-hmm. I hope that paper come in. God damn it! Because on the Netflix baby! side of the game, she gonna be like, on Netflix. Hey, like baby. <laughs> she gonna be. <laughs> I do like her though. There's some. It's, it's, it, women comedians. It's tough. Women it's tough comedians women. are tough. Why? No, I'm saying it's tough to come over. Somebody you know Corey, say Corey dressed like um, they shooting watermelon heist too. <laughs> you should have never did that movie, man. I don't know if you <laughs> oh, told man. the people your bad yet. No, no, no. no it ain't, it ain't, I can't bad say. Yet. I can't say. I can't say my bad for that because okay. I really didn't know. You know what I mean? Like right. it was just there was no John call Amos. Sheet, John watermelon Amos. Heist, or was to tell like you the untitled truth. project. No, John Amos walked up to me at the comedy store. He liked my act. He was like, we doing a movie. And I was like, all right. So then when I get there, it said Watermelon Heist. I was like, oh. Ain't no exit. <laughs> <laughs> but, Nate, I wasn't, no the man, I wasn't the man I am now. Too I'm sure. not. Yeah, you, you couldn't, we all grow. I, I couldn't do yeah. the Watermelon Heist now. No. Yeah, we all Or grow. no Watermelon, nothing. No, it's, I mean, like, Come look. On, a lot of in the entertainment business, you're going <laughs> to compromise a little bit. But it's just certain shit I don't bend on. No lipstick, no makeup. See? Uh, the watermelon, the water. I mean, I didn't say, I didn't mean to say no makeup. We put on makeup. No lipstick, no dresses. Mm-hmm. No, no shit to feminize me in front of the camera. And on top of that, a watermelon heist movie nowadays? Yeah, I ain't that nigga. <laughs> I ain't that nigga. I don't now. think they would make that now. No, you Shit, they make any motherfucking thing. They get, nowadays they coming out with all these female superheroes and shit. These bitches feel like they tough. I'm excited to see that shit on the 14th, nigga, with the robot see? bitch. Yeah. I want to see it. Why is the bitch a battle angel? Why they can't say a battle hoe? I think you she fucking what? in the battle, battle bitch. The battle whore. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you in my pussy, motherfucker. <laughs> my pussy got a shredder on it. Battle she a robot bitch. bitch. She just come out fussing until everybody explodes. Right. Whole food. Whole food. Whole food. Right. They I call this bitch Battle Angel. angel. Nigga. Why the fuck are you a Battle Angel? What make you an angel, bitch? <laughs> well, I guess you gotta watch it, but they say she yeah. fell from the sky. Ah, Did she? See? Oh, oh well, they threw her out in the trash. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> a 
bitch kicking everybody <laughs> ass. <laughs> like that shit. This is that Laura Croft shit. This shit ain't stopped. God that damn Wonder got, Woman movie. What's the movie? What's the what's the yeah, Hispanic cool. girl? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Right. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Great movie. Yeah. All these bitches think that yeah, they bitches. These bitches out here bought bracelets trying to fight niggas. Got their ass whooped. <laughs> Bitch, put a rope around a nigga. You will do what I. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what's the What's the Hispanic woman? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, what she she acting like? Miss Mala, Miss Mala, Miss Mala, some more shit. Bala, that shit was not. Bitch, about to get a gun, oh, get shot in front of her. Like, okay. It was not. Somebody good. said Robo Ratchet. Robo Ratchet. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bitch, just come through pop locking. The Thought Warrior. <laughs> I will fuck when I want. <laughs> <laughs> the Revengers. The Seven <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> Just <laughs> bad period. period. That's funny. <laughs> the Incredible Sulk. You puny the puny little man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the cunt killer. Oh, <laughs> Puto girl. <laughs> the hero, right? That was gonna have some evil thoughts sometimes. What it is, we'll squeeze it off. Yeah, you're gonna take care of my kid, and you're not gonna fuck anybody else because you don't have a dick. The coochie catcher. Locky with my legs. D was in that movie Teeth. <laughs> <laughs> remember that shit? Y'all remember T? T? The movie T. Uh uh-uh. uh. Man, this girl had. Uh, Marie doesn't know the movie. Oh my God. She had uh, vagina cannibalitis or vagina dentiata. Somebody say bust down gladiator. Yeah, she had uh, vagina dentiata. Wonder nigga, the girl had a te- She had teeth in her vagina, nigga, and bit her boyfriend's dick off. off. Oh, Yeast that's fighter. Genius. Oh, you like that? <laughs> Somebody say deceptive thought. <laughs> Spider, nigga. Oh my god. Nigga, from Skeletor? You talking about Skeletor from He-Man? They got a they got a they got a movie with some bitch <laughs> with the Avengers now. She supposed to be some bitch from Captain outer Marvel. space. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. How the fuck is this bitch a captain and she a woman? Uh, oh suck. They got female captains, don't Where? they? Where? Military? They got female military captains? Yes. I think they got if police officers that, rank, that are captains. Yes, I'm about to Google it. Fire. Let's Google it. Fire captains, because I've seen them. When they do that cop, climb, cop. when I do that climb, I've seen them. <laughs> yeah. The Speaking of captains, you got that hat from strong. Captain Crunch. And they can, they got <laughs> <that> <laughs> <hat>. <laughs> don't, don't take a Only I'm berries, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you fell off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they gained some pounds while he was over there. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. You can't, I can't you can't tell. tell. Maybe at the gym, In though. Winter, you can't really tell. Cockadile Dundee. Cockadile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crip in the building. <laughs> right. Mm. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas Police Chief, Chief is a woman. Is a woman. That's not a captain, Brother Roberts. We look well, at that. Tell that she's a declared person. That's above oh, them. Yeah, but they might have skipped captain. Like, even women can't be no goddamn captain. We'll make you the chief. Tampon warrior. Take that. Brazilla. <laughs> Thotra. Thotra. Like, you know, uh, what's the what's the big monster, colossal monster? Uh, uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, somebody anyway. say Corey Mo D. Fuck y'all, nigga. Ooh, excuse me, Jesus. Anyway, that shit that's going on. I gotta say some shit and I don't give a fuck who get mad at me. The movie's been good. Here we though. go, Jesus. Oh, I can't shit. help it. I tried not to say nothing. Last, I think it was summer, I had words with a woman. And uh, her name was Cynthia G. And her business has been put out there. And uh, she got pregnant by this dude who was one of the dudes who be like a guest on her show. Now, what I want to say about this, I'm not mad at Cynthia G. Because even when the shit was going on, it was just some shit that was egged on. I said something to her on Twitter. It seemed like it was going bad by her responses, you know what I mean? Mm. So I blocked her. Okay. Leave it alone. Because, you know, you don't want no fuck up. Bitch, yeah. I'm not going to keep arguing with you like this. Right. But it went all crazy because <laughs> she wanted it to go crazy. Okay. But, the fuck, nigga? What the fuck I'm gonna do? Bitch mad at me? I mean, it is what it is. I'm not mad at her. Okay, so that was last year. But this is what's funny. Mm. One day, you know, because everybody send me videos of people, I looked at this video and it was this, 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 this fucking nigga on there and he said my name and he was like caking with the bitch. Like a son. Oh, what he, he got a white wife? Yeah, all that shit and woo, woo, woo. I ain't got no white wife, but I don't give a fuck. Because right. I didn't know the nigga, but I was like, oh, that's that nigga, he 
Alright, fuck it. Whatever. Found out this the nigga who knocked knocked her up. Huh. Who so my he? whole thing, his name is God damn it. I say the shit. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You fucking sitting up there caking with a motherfucking female trying to motherfucking get people to like you, soft smoking ass motherfucker. Robert Perkins. Robert Perkins. I didn't know his name till somebody sent me the shit. And what I got to say is this to the nigga. Damn, nigga. You sitting up here caking with the bitch, going along with everything she say, and we find out you the type of nigga that she talk about on her show. She talks shit about niggas and how they always making babies and all this shit. This nigga got five kids by four different women. Oh, Lord. And if she pregnant and keep it, that mean that's going to be, uh, what is it, five. six by five. She is? They know for a fact? Well, she said she was pregnant on one of these things, oh and uh, she was she was cool with some bitch who put all her business out there in the street. Uh oh, so called friend. Uh-oh. Yeah, she, every, all her texts to her and everything. Oh, oh no. wow! Y'all, oh, she put all oh, she she set the bitch out. The screenshot. Yeah. So what I'm saying is this: I don't care nothing about Cynthia this G getting knocked up. We nigga, we if motherfuckers be honest, There's niggas don't kids. got all kind of kids because of abortions. That's the truth. If people be honest, most men oh, would have at kids. least eight to ten kids. Oh, eight to Lord ten? God. If it wasn't for abortion. The abortion game is cold. I don't know how many motherfuckers disagree. Like, you take somebody nice, like, Frank, yeah. if it wasn't for abortions, how many kids would you have? Giggity. Seven, ten. Giggity, giggity. That motherfucker said, <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? The abortion game save niggas. I probably had about 10 kids if it wasn't for abortion. Oh, my Lord. Well, I used to march them bitches down there, motherfucker, like, ah, ah, ah. You died oh, out of the world. That's cute. <laughs> 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 <It's> salt pepper. <laughs> but here's the thing. This is what I'm saying. Nigga, how you gonna put my name in your mouth oh, yeah, caking with the bitch and you know you out here fucked up? <laughs> nigga, you can fuck the bitch without talking. Act, you know, caking with the bitch, acting like I did something. Oh, you ain't even know me, and you talk about me with the bitch. Nigga, get the pussy without talking shit about niggas. Be a man, nigga. Mm. Knock your hoes up. <laughs> On your own, nigga. Right, nigga. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, your knock-up I... game is your knock-up game. Right. Because right. I, I let the shit go when the nigga said something, because I was like, <laughs> I don't want that shit. Because it wasn't worth it to me. But nigga, you done knocked this bitch up after caking and all that. You had to cake. Lay up on the, It was this dude online talking about, he's a nice guy, woo. Nigga, you a cake ass nigga. You cake with bitches to motherfucking uh, 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 have your way. Any nigga, I want to tell every woman out there, if don't no nigga say, bitch, you foul for that, and you been knowing them more than three weeks, then that motherfucker ain't shit. Real niggas check bitches. God damn it. That's how, I, when you around a woman, it don't mean you hate her, but be like, bitch, you bogus for that. That bitch didn't even know me, nigga, and you was caking with the bitch. And now you motherfucker about to be, you better hope the bitch kill it. I mean, abort it. Oh, my God. Jesus. That's abortion, kill it, same thing. Well, if you go by, um. Wow. Well, this is a bitch who I know wasn't going to keep it. I used to be like, so we going to kill it? Oh, my God. <laughs> it really Jesus is you killing Christ. it, bitch. Because if it was my baby, I'd take care of it. But I'm just saying. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I always tell that to you. When I'm driving no, home after leaving no, a boys and clinic, I wouldn't have killed my baby. If you it are officially. I, I, I mean, you did baby. what you had to do. But I'm just saying, if that was my baby, I took care of it. That's what God wanted us yeah, to do. Okay. You aiding and abetting when you provide the funds. Damn, that's. Oh, wow. I'm not aiding and abetting. Sure, if you're part of it. No, you, 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 you are her, disillusioned, you D. Somebody told you that. You didn't win a VIP, all that. Don't matter. You know? If a woman wants to keep your baby, there ain't nothing you can do. At but all. here's That's the other true. end of that. If they want to kill your baby, ain't nothing you can that do. True, they tell way. you, it's her body. She do what the fuck she want. Right. So I don't give a fuck what I gave you money for. If you use it to murk your seed. Murk you know your seed. Unbelievable. You's a killer, bitch. But if you go by <laughs> You's a killer if, eternally. Here we go. go by, I know you know. forgot about it, but on judgment day when you be like, God, I've been good, he's gonna be like, bitch, sit your killer ass down. Get in the <laughs> fucked up nigga line where I put you. Well if it's any kind of go by the stuff that you're talking about <laughs> online, he might not be it looks mostly it sounds like he's not. 
Sounds like he's what? Not the dad. Like nobody knows. Like it's it, if you go by what the stories are online, that the, a lot of people. Are I don't about care him. about they baby. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if it's his or the next lame ass nigga. All I'm saying is, nigga, I feel like you was caking with the bitch to get the pussy. Oh, I see where you went. Stop with caking with bitches oh. and, and being on their shows and going along with everything they say to get some pussy, nigga. If you ain't checked the bitch, nigga, something wrong with you. <laughs> That's just how life go. Hey, once in a while, you got to check a bitch. I don't give a fuck how much you love her. I don't give a fuck what's at stake. You got to be like, God damn it. Hey. <laughs> now listen up now. And a real bitch like you for that. He won't let me put that on him. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's his serious hat. Nah. <laughs> 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 that nigga rode in here and laid down the law. <laughs> that nigga caught an Uber horse up here. <laughs> oh, Lord. Stop caking for the hoes, nigga. Goof ass, nigga. Fuck your bitches off what you talk about. No, off what she talk about. Oh, thank you. That's Fuck so your bitches off what you talk about, not off what she talk about. Nigga, I done had bitches that motherfucking and told me fuck oh. you because I didn't go along with the shit. Oh. So I knew some bitch. You should have said no. You just look did. real shit. It was some bitch got mad at me because you know D Ray had a show in in, in, in in Chicago around New Year's Eve. Mm-hmm. I know the bitch from back in the day. Bitch got in touch with me. Can you get me? I was like, yeah, I'll hook it up. But when I when I I forgot about that shit. Mm-hmm. So like that night she called me and I was trying to hook it up last minute. First of all, in my mind, though, I was like, bitch, I ain't even seen you. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I was like, I said I'd right. do it. Fuck so it. Let me do it. Yeah. When I hooked the shit up, I called the bitch and she was like, I don't know how you forgot though, Corey. Damn. Oh. I was just like, what? Oh, Hold bro, up. Bro, bro. Like, Ain't God. these some free tickets? Yeah, I- when the last time I saw you? And then the bitch act like she had an attitude. I told D-Ray, hey, my bad. Fuck them tickets. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> bitch acting like I owe you something. I don't owe. You, I hope you watching the show. I don't owe you shit, bitch. So Your you pussy has out? not been available to me for what's over ten years. What is that? A decade. A decade. decade. Bitch, it's been decades <laughs> since I saw you. What's bitch? over ten years? <laughs> <laughs> that hat. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> that hat's over ten. Nigga, take my hat. A decade. <laughs> <laughs> what's twenty years? <laughs> two, decades. That's two decades. Two decades. Two decades. <laughs> bitch. A dub. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he's thinking of anniversaries like what is yeah, gold, understand. silver, you know. Anyway. Bitch, that's a bronze age. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fifth of a century, bitch. That's hey man, there's some weird old motherfuckers oh, out here in this shit. world, man. I done seen yeah. some wild yeah. shit, ticket wise. I done seen niggas. Look, let me tell you, I done done crazy shit. Yeah, I ain't but gonna... he looks young, so he probably just doesn't have it. He has zero game. Then if he had to go there. You know, to to talk about you just to get on her good side, that's that's kind of... I mean, it is what it is. I, I didn't say nothing when it happened, but now that I know you fucking the bitch, I'm like, nigga, you be mm. caking for hoes, nigga. Get your goof ass out of here, nigga. Caking for bitches to motherfucking make yourself sound a certain way in front of bitches. This nigga's out here who motherfucking always take the bitch side. I remember one day I did Zoe's show. Uh-oh. It what is. was that lawyer name? What did I do? The crooked-ass lawyer. No, the crooked-ass lawyer was taking up for the bitch with the little book. The little book? It was this bitch had a... <laughs> this bitch had the littlest book. I know Zoe so know who he's talking so about now. Know. But the way he I got know. there so I goddamn know. funny. I wish Bobby was here. Bobby know the nigga. checking up for the bitch with the little book. Nigga, this bitch. No, this was, the, this was Rodney King's lawyer. I know oh. you talking about that. Oh. And you saw what happened to Rodney King. Oh, oh yeah. Dang. Damn. Rodney King got paid. <laughs> Rodney King dead off depression. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga like, they beat my ass, they shut up. Who the fuck was that lawyer? The nigga who took up for the bitch with the little book. What was the People little book who know, about, nigga? This bitch had a book that was about 19 pages. Oh, that's a pamphlet. That's what I said. I said, this is a book of tweets, bitch. Well, was, <laughs> I said, this is a week of tweets. <laughs> he said that shit. Oh, oh my Niggas God. was laughing. I heard that in her face. Oh, this ain't no book. I can put this in my wallet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this was the littlest man. book I ever the seen only in way my life. Because if it's got coupons in it. And it was this lawyer on the show caking oh. for the bitch. If I ever see him again, it's just built up like I want it to happen. Like, if he ever say something slick, I'm going to be like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to let you have it for a while, was motherfucker. It a yeah, some elderly brother. Oh well, that's what he got. He working Come at that on, age. He's from a different generation. To, you know. It don't matter what generation right. you from. It's you just a PlayStation <laughs> One manual, right? It wasn't even no the PlayStation <laughs> One manual. Way bigger than this bitch book. 
Milton Grimes. That's his name. Thanks, Phil Hayes. Damn it, Phil. <laughs> I know his name. And the last name, Grimes. You hear me? Yeah. Last name, Grimes. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Maybe he got it. You don't know. Maybe it worked. They call you Jack and Lang Hogan. He ain't fucked that bitch. That nigga ain't finna spend no money. That bitch thinks she's still worth something. She's a dark skinned bitch. She wasn't real she's beautiful, though. Okay, Zo, you said Whoopi beautiful, so you took her value down. Whoopi's beautiful, too. Okay, we'll be down. If you think Whoopi a bad bitch, God damn it, that show a lot about who you are. Whoopi is not a bad bitch. Whoopi is who you fuck when you ain't, oh. it, it ain't going well for you. Whoopi will come up. Whoopi got that bag. I can see her giving a nigga some money. Now, you're not going to go away after I give this to you, are you? No, she wants him to go away. She That's how Whoopi sounds. Listen, sound. Whoopi okay. now. With it's the an older woman. She's an older With the Crocs. Woman, mature. But Whoopi, young Whoopi. Dear older was woman. Fine. Uh, dear Whoopi about the same age? Whoopi the same no, age as you did? No, she's in her 60s. I know Whoopi old. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna How you know Whoopi in her 60s? What do you mean? She's got to be. How? I was still young when the color purple came out. When she was in Eddie, she had a couple nice that little scenes. Dark skinned women be the most gorgeous to me. Really? Mm-hmm. And that woman. I know a lot of niggas who fuck dark skinned bitches, she, but don't 63. have them on their shoulder. <laughs> She's 63. Yeah. 63. We both said this. Well, the internet got a fucked up age about me, so I don't believe that shit, but we'll I go with 63. It. Fuck it. I know I, a lot of niggas who like fucking dark skinned bitches, but they never have them showing them to the world. I got three kids by two different women, and both those sisters, chocolate. And gorgeous I met one. Sisters. I met one, I think, at the yes. foxhole. Very you nice. did? Really? Yeah. Beautiful she sisters. She came a couple times. Yeah, man. Oh, Very nice. Yeah. Well, my whole thing is all bitches can do foul shit. So That's true. Anybody can. Whoever Impressive. keep me, be down. Ah! Whoever keep me, what? That's oh. my whole thing. <laughs> Keep him, bless their heart. Keep me. me. After all the bitches gone, I'll be like, well, you still here, so fuck it. We <laughs> oh just got a bottom this nigga said, Ain't no other way to win Wait. but default fucking oh with me. When the, when the, this when nigga the, said, whoever keep me, <laughs> when it does shut up, nigga. Be down. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new that's the t-shirt, nigga. That's what I said. It's the truth. Whoever choose me. You might say Carrie... Oh. Carrie Champion, a sexy dark skinned woman. Carrie yeah. Champion. There's a lot of sexy dark skinned women. Lupita. Oh, I love Lupita. She's funny, too. Ooh. I didn't see. I, she's been doing some very funny stuff lately. I know if we was arguing, though, I'd say something slick to Lupita. Get your point guard face ass the fuck out of my motherfucking. Yeah, I fuck the shit out of Whoopi Goldberg. Look at this right here, right there, my nigga. Look at that picture with the smoke in the back, nigga. Boy, you got that mic. Smoky chocolate. Shit. It's this 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 Whoopi that scares me, though. (laughs) This Whoopi, like, nigga, you just fucked the other nigga. What's the difference in them pictures? It's got 40 years. Eyebrows. See, when Whoopi loses her eyebrows, that's when she's like, I want to look like hating on Whoopi on. If y'all niggas like Whoopi, be down. I'm just saying, the picture I just had, she looking at I know niggas look. wouldn't let Whoopi get in their car. They'd be like, look, bitch, meet me there. <laughs> <laughs> meet me in front of the $2 movie. Whoopi got some pictures where she could get it. It's, when she gets older, something happens to the eyebrows. She starts looking like Ronnie uh, DeVoe from New Edition. <laughs> That's the tap dancing joint? Yeah. Oh, that was her man she was claiming. Oh, Whoopi. Damn, like, she like went through her white dick that's phase. When I dis- that's when I disconnected from Whoopi. But you saw that. Oh, shit. Put that away. No, you want Don't it. show Corey. You want no. that, too. With the phone lines. Don't you think I'm looking at it? <laughs> nigga, I <laughs> clicked over. <laughs> All right, so. That's all it was. That was all right. looking right at me like. Who am I to talk <laughs> about somebody? But that's what I'm saying. Like, Everybody has their it's preferences. It's people who might not think I'm super sexy. Of course. There's a few people out there like that, right. but I'm just saying. <laughs> to each his own. God damn it. To each his own. I got all kind of. I got she has some pictures where she's like I'm attractive. Like, yeah. It's just she starts looking over the rims of the glasses and shit. Mm. That's not that attractive. To Listen, me. but she's old. I mean, there's older. there's been some. She started okay, doing that older. when she was 32. So when you old, you're not attractive. Okay. What about black don't crack? It cracked up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I can be honest. It cracked up a little bit, but young Whoopi was gorgeous, and I think she had body. 
Really? You don't never know. She always been wearing long, flowing, big yeah. shit. Look okay. at her in Ghost. No, look at no. I yeah. seen her in Ghost, nigga. No, in the color purple when she's trying on the pants. I seen the color purple pants. too back when she was still young. Oh, yeah. Put that away. Oh, stop. See, he fine and fuck. So, me. so I like color purple was young Whoopi. That was young. She I showed you that picture of Whoopi, and that's the face you made. But she was a slave makeup in the color. She was a slave makeup. <laughs> this nigga so signified. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I'm saying you gonna say she was in blackface too? It was that time. You <laughs> said she was in blackface. <laughs> fuck up, Zo. God dang it! I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah, Bria Miles, bad denim. Mud. What you say, nigga? Whoopi, <laughs> when old boy was laughing at her, might let her clean the caboose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoopi was looking toe back in that motherfucker. You, I don't give a fuck what, what she said. say. You love <laughs> Danny Glover. <laughs> 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 oh, was it Danny Glover or yes, was it his, was his father? Whoopi oh, was young right. when she was in the field clapping with the little <laughs> Mama Booney. That's oh, it. Shit. All right, then. Oh, you going to come home to that? Who's your top two darks? Dark skinned Dark women. Nigga. He said top oh, two dark. No, I, you, I, hey, this is you hate. Hold on. Hey, no, don't do that. Who are your stutter. top two darkies? I started at a fucked up Who's time. your top two darkies? Who's your top two <laughs> black ass bitches, nigga? Who is it? Lupita is up there. I like Monica. Oh. Who is Monica? The singer. Monica's not dark. No, no, no. no. Dark. Oh, yeah. That bitch brown. A top. I'm talking chocolate. about dark. Gorgeous. Chocolate. Monica's chocolate. You think Let so? me pull up this. Yeah. Place. She ain't dark. Who you Kelly Rowland. Like? Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland. You, have you seen old Kelly Rowland before the nose and all that shit? She that bitch look like Scooby Doo before all the shit. Hey, man, this is getting a homosexual. Whoopi! Yeah! He can find anything on some, but I think she's beautiful. Who? Uh, Kelly Rowland. Yeah, but Kelly Rowland is bad. Yeah. Is she? Brandy's Hell bad. Yeah. Hell, Brandy mm-hmm. too. Brandy ain't darky. How dark you trying to go? They dark. I'm Niggas talking about Vanessa darky. Bell Calloway. I just met her bitch. at Dash, looking delicious. She, at well, what happened to her? Well, what? Her, her Whoopi about the same age. Why she still look good? Even though me and her got into it when we met. That motherfucker bitch was so mad at me when I motherfucker. There's so many beautiful I dark women. It's ridiculous, man. man. I know. That's what I'm saying. Well, but we y'all said complexion. I said Vanessa Bell Calloway dark. Vanessa Bell Calloway bad than a motherfucker boy. I don't yeah. have to look her up. I can keep going. It's just I don't want to give out all the name. Is model man named Khadija Shari. Khadija Shari dance for motherfucking Beyonce. This one. Let me see. Bad dinner mood. Oh, I see Vanessa Bell. Hey, look there. Look there. You guys are just. I stop it, nigga. I fell in love with dark skin. What? Dark skin women. Stop it. When when dark skin Aunt Viv won that dance competition, nigga. Dark skin Aunt Viv was. What's the center for the Houston Rockets? Uh. Right now, he had a nigga with the, I ain't listening to the highlights in his hair. I ain't listening to it. Look up Khadija What's the center for the Houston Rockets? She bad. Is she bad or no? <laughs> Is she bad. They better that say right bad. now. You crazy. Somebody say the first Cosby wife. The first bitch on Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <clears throat> she, she out here busting now. Capella. He, this what? nigga just showed me a Clint Capella What's looking bitch. I don't know, but I eat the center out that motherfucker. Do you understand, boy? What's wrong with you? But I'm just saying, um, y'all, y'all niggas ain't that used to be around. Gorgeous, boy. Okay, she can get it in the, with the makeup on. Show me a picture of that bitch when she walking out the kitchen. She got pictures on here with no eating makeup. some walnuts in the middle of the night. Lord. Now that right there, that's, a, that's a close to no makeup She's pic. Gorgeous. Let me see. What is she gorgeous, D? Yep. D ain't see. gonna say nothing because we on the She's, show. That's not as pretty <laughs> as the other two. But she, <laughs> what? I like uh, Brisha Webb, beautiful and black. Brisha Webb is cute. Super Tiffany baby. Haddish, beautiful and black. Yeah. Tiffany ain't dark. Coco Brown, certain lights. Who is Coco Brown? The comedian. <laughs> So my, that's my girl, nigga. Yeah, certain light. Chill. That's my girl. Yeah, that's my girl. Co- Coco Brown looked like an African version yeah, of, of the dude on Fetso. What's that movie, Fetso? Gabrielle Union? Gabrielle Union, bad. Gabrielle Dark? Yes. Brown. She same color as Dwayne Wade. Nigga, I'm going to run up out of here. <laughs> I ain't even going to say nothing else. Is Taraji P considered dark? She's no. just a little too light, huh? Y'all reach it, nigga. Terrible. Jennifer Hudson, she ain't beautiful and brown. Well, no, that bitch ain't dark. Come Jennifer on, Hudson is brown. Nia Long, she brown too. Brown. 
No, they been baby browning them up. But she's beautiful you and dark. <laughs> he ain't gonna say nothing about how that bitch looks. He know that motherfucker to be talking. Brandy for sure dark. Brandy Norwood. Brandy Who's Brandy Norwood? Norwood. Sitting up in her room, dark. This nigga said she was sitting up in her room, <laughs> dark, dark. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said Coco Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said Leslie Jones. Now hey, don't Ooh. listen. Now got that Leslie Q. Uh, listen. Now you she know has an eternal you. pass for me. I don't give a fuck. I, you move know on, Leslie, nigga. I ain't talking you. about Leslie. You know that. But we Les- talk about dark bitches. I'm talking about dark like the complexion of old boy on that movie, The Fugitive, who escaped off the train with him. And what? I don't care which way you go. Don't follow me. I'm I'm not fucking with Leslie. <laughs> Leslie I got your man. Leslie's my girl, man. And what? I got your man. We can talk. She posted this picture. She posted a gorgeous picture on Instagram. Oh, this nigga signified. The caption said, oh. she said, I know y'all about to talk about me, but I don't even care because this is my giving Leslie stare. It's motherfucking funny to me. I had to post it. But let me see it. I like no. how she's so, yeah. She's it's no. so ugly, you won't even let me see it. No, the bitch had to make a disclaimer on the picture. This is my a girl bad bitch, now. A bad bitch don't know Leslie, how to show the picture. Zoe, show me, nigga. Show me, Zoe, goddammit. Zoe, uh, Frank, this is my girl, man. And you can't, you don't get to talk about her. It's that just, might very well be the ugliest ass. bitch I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't attribute <laughs> ugly to dark skin. Leslie's beautiful, man. Oh, Hell y'all yeah. Niggas some weirdos, dog. Hey, man. Who is Zoe? <laughs> I'm just saying. Dark girls be the most beautiful women in the world. Somebody say Loretta I like, Divine. I go to motherfucking Brazil. I like light skin. I like light skin women too, but there's some bad dark women. And when light skin is ugly, when light skin goes wrong, nigga, it goes really wrong. Nigga, Hell yeah, ugly <laughs> ass light skin women. Nigga, I would say the name, but it light skin <laughs> motherfucker. He light skin, so he can do this. I'm, I'm not gonna do saying, it. Yo, hey, you're the captain, nigga. You Zoe captain. look like an ogre. Zoe look like an ogre without that hat. Uh, when Zoe take that hat off, ogre shit come out. <laughs> what is this? I'm telling you the truth. Not, not. Just the way his hair grow. Zoe right. look like a fucking the way my hair is set up. Uh, I'm an ogre without a hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this nigga can look. Ah! Remember, you remember that? This nigga to take that shit nigga. off it, no matter what you say. Tia what? Sumter. Who? The actress Tia Sumter. I don't know that bitch. <laughs> Pull up a picture of Tia Sumter, Frank. That actress <laughs> that, Naomi, uh, super supermodel. Campbell. Yeah, Naomi Campbell. Beautiful, but that dope thing, bitch, ain't dark. God damn. Unbelievable. What? You what about Beverly uh, Peel? I fucked with Leslie Johnson. Beverly Johnson. Peel. Yes, she was. Oh, Beverly she Johnson. Is. Yvonne Orgy. Supermodel. Yvonne Orgy and Issa Rae. Both oh, attractive. Yeah. Bitch and Little Caesars. Caesars. Oh, attractive. Oh, she got a beautiful oh, smile. Yeah. What? It's a bitch and Little Caesars. Caesars. No, I was on the red carpet. Man, and Issa Rae had now this, this single ponytail and turned around. I was like, oh, she could actually get all of the dick, man. Oh, it's Tika. Tika Sumter. Look that up for us. It was a little bitch in motherfucking Florida I met who worked at this gap. It's just she was real short, but she was dark and pretty. But I told her, you're going to get niggas' little sons. Nigga, I know some yes. bad-ass, little, beautiful little ass, ass dark sons. skin deltas. My like, I can't even, because you're not going to their name. deltas, nigga? Nigga, there's dark skin. Are they yeah, sequestered to the deltas? Nigga, there's some right? bad-ass zetas, nigga. What the Somebody fuck? Somebody said India Ire. Yes. Mm. Get there the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Ire look like motherfucking... God I damn it. No the white good nigga. Unbelievable. What? Nigga? Know, I know what she looks God like. damn. Why'd I say that video? I fuck with her music. Oh, she but on the Dwight Gooden no. side of the game. Oh, God. He's, fuck. He's just so. Something's looks up with like him. Looks like it is. Ooh, Tika Sumter. Who is this bitch with makeup on? That's Tika Sumter. Y'all fuck a glamour shot. Ooh. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. Hey. Is Megan Wait, good, dark? Girl. She ain't dark enough. You say, you say, how you say, how you say. How did you say? How did you say? What's the girl name? Um, Coco Brown over Samoa. Samoa is a beautiful. Samoa is gorgeous. That's what I'm Samoa saying. Samoa is bad. Yeah, and tough too. That motherfucker cold. Business I like minded. it. Strong. Samoa black is woman. beautiful. You yeah, said Coco Brown, Brown, nigga. They both get. Serena. They both get. Both. First of all, Serena Kiki Williams. Palmer, beautiful and black. Oh, that's true too. Yeah. Kiki Palmer. Yeah. Yeah. Prestidigitations. I was prestidicking this bitch down, so nigga. If I can do it, I do it. Jesus. Okay. Well, All tell right. us how you really feel. Anyway, I am. Kelly Rowland bad, bad as fuck. Preferences and what Kelly Rowland bad as fuck. Coco Brown looked like Don Rickles, nigga. 
Uh, wait, is the is old white man from Vegas? Don't listen to him. <laughs> that hat tight now. See, yeah, oh, don't go nice bad. Yeah. <laughs> Don Rickles, nigga. <laughs> Jennifer Hudson. Really, I can't think of the dude name. The Golden Brooks. What is the head actor in that movie <laughs> Fatso <laughs> from back in the day? She that's just, what she looked like. She's a little rough. She Don really DeLuise. That's what she looked like. She said that. Oh, you. That's a stretch. I like it. No. Look at the bitch without makeup. Still pretty. She still get it. Get the fuck out what of here, man. Like, he's like, <laughs> Why are we going with that? Still pretty. Man, that bitch look like a nigga in drag. That bitch is beautiful. Corey is something happened. The baby get the fell. fuck out of here. The bitch could get it, but I'm just saying, without that makeup, no, that I get to say not, she can get it. You don't get to say she's not going to the party without the makeup, and she can get it. That bitch not going to the party without the makeup. She's not going to do it. Sis is pretty too. She's not getting in the pool. Young, she's not getting in the pool. Young Cicely Tyson. Cicely Young Tyson Cicely get was it? bad back in the day. Shit. Motherfucker. You know who bad as fuck? I don't know if she's light skinned, but that goddamn Marilyn Gibbs, that that uh was she attorney general out there and uh Y'all keep naming famous I bitches. Now she a lawyer out in uh let's well, go how find are gonna name regular people because y'all want Where to Marilyn her? Gibbs the lawyer at? I tried to tell y'all about the bitch in Little Caesars. But if they don't go I mean, to uh, what's the name Caesar's of that pizza? Like, <laughs> pizza Pizza. Erica Badu, Badu bad. Erica Badu kinda light though. Jill Scott bad. Jill Scott bad. Jill Scott fat, nigga. The bitch oh built like God, Optimus so Prime. First of all, nigga, size ain't got shit to do with it. It's some beautiful bitch. I know why out you here. say that. I know why? why you say that. Don't worry. You could get out of here with that with the horse you rode in on. <laughs> nigga, that's some big, beautiful women out here. Jill Scott ain't they fat keep talking like about that. fat bitches. Fat bitches ain't cold. Monique beautiful. Say she not. What? Say Monique ain't attractive. The comic? Yeah. yeah. Get him. Fight him. Fight attractive? Him, you gonna say Monique is ugly? Damn. He's something's wrong. With nah, her. Monique, pretty. Baby Monique looked like a, a bigger Gabrielle Union. Uh oh. Why don't he go get this nigga? <laughs> Yo, this nigga signified, nigga. <laughs> nigga, you don't look up next to each other. Monique looked like she could be Gabrielle Union, big cousin, nigga. Monique got a horse head, nigga. <laughs> a horse, I, the worst know. thing she ever could have did was had it in that ponytail with the little scrunchie on the top. Because it showed how her head with the, with, the, with the thing that came down on her shoulder? The accessory piece up top. Hey, Monique Tashina is bad. Tashina Arnold. Arnold is attractive, too. Tashina Arnold. Who is Tashina Arnold? Pam from Pam Martin. Pam from Martin. Nigga, Khalil okay. Smith. The mama Kalita. from the Bernie Mac show? Kalita this nigga said, boy, she wild as shit. Shout out like. to Kalita Crazy Ass. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said, Monique look like Gabriel. Frank, Union. pull up Gabriel Union and Monique. Monique is a pretty girl. girl. Monique is attractive. She's nigga. older. I mean, when you get older, you know. You, you hey, know. man, to each his own. You act like I'm out here talking about Wendy yeah. Williams and shit like that. No, I'm not, nigga. Monique is attractive. To each his own, that is it. That's right, Corey. Thank God. Pull up with Monique talking hey, shit. Samira Wiley. No, she's she she could be she could be I met her in the airport. She was being rough. My homie Sam. I was like, my best friend Sam. Sam. Monique. I like that. Hey, you ain't gotta Sam act like that. Ain't right. Sam, you know you know what I'm about to bring up. Right? At the nigga. cotton club. Sam was with this older lady back when we was in our twenties. The bitch mm -hmm. probably was about that fifty back then. Uh, Sam had the bitch with him while niggas was signifying. And the nigga uh -oh. just said, but you were the old ass lady. Oh. And niggas was rolling. Oh, still try to be nice. Look, nigga, <laughs> pull up with Monique talking shit with them niggas I know. Pull up with Monique. I don't give a fuck. Eat at her thinnest weight. Them niggas gonna be like, nigga, but you were the, you were the horse head bitch in this motherfucker. <laughs> Pull up with Coco Brown. Look, they got a picture of them together. Pull up, pull up with chocolate. You telling me, sisters. you telling me, Monique look like her? Yeah, they could. They, they could be they related. Be kin, nigga. Yeah, hell yeah. Picture Frank. Yeah, that is. Frank, you need one with some with my face straight on, like man. Me. You might have to grab two different ones. <laughs> Monique arm bigger than that bitch neck, nigga. <laughs> She looks great for losing all the weight. She lost a lot of weight. Okay, beat out to each his own. But y'all niggas pull up with them bitches y'all talk about. Pull up with Whoopi talking about what she used to look like. Samira Wiley, you better tape that bitch picture to her face. That was like, that hey, nigga's gonna let you have it. That was Zoe. Right? That was Zoe. Yeah. That was really on also that. Also a place for niggas signify all, all day long. Is a new black. And they can That's signify cool. all they want, but if who, whoever pulls up with it, they love her for real. They ain't gonna. Somebody say that bitch need a soul surgery. Not care. <laughs> <laughs> Tip, <laughs> Tiffany Haddish is worth saying twice. That Tiffany much, Haddish is Tiffany bad. Haddish might be, might be my top dark. Okay, but <laughs> Tiffany Haddish dark. <laughs> Tiffany ain't dark. Yeah, Tiffany dark. There's a okay. lot of beautiful dark. That's what I'm saying. To each his own, because we we look at dark differently. Well, I'm going anything yeah. milk chocolate and uh, darker than milk chocolate. 
You just said Monica. That girl Bria Monica Miles looked like. cute without makeup on. Very mm-hmm. beautiful. Yeah. Bria Miles. She looked yeah. cute without makeup on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. Regina King. Regina yeah, that's, Hall. That's her, that's her Both all that's Regina's, all nigga. Sister. Regina's be bad. Wait, 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 he comes from some Pretty girl. I loved her when she was Brenda. What is he talking about? Hey, man, look, a lot of these back. bitches can put on makeup. The problem is she's real a little cute. too light for me to be talking about her, but she's attractive as shit in these pictures. A lot of these, bitch, a lot of these bitches look good with makeup on. Them bitches come about that makeup, nigga, and you got you a carpenter. <laughs> like Jesus. There you go. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> oh. Nigga, you got you a firefighter. These oh. bitches take that makeup off. This bitch is bad. I have a picture what of a thing in my hand. Ooh, Keisha Rudy. Knight. Keisha Knight Pulliam, she's attractive too. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't think this is an attractive picture? That's a this glamour woman is shot. Beautiful. It is not. She that's not a glamour shot. Nigga, here she is in her workout shit. It's still good. Yep. Okay. Now you telling me that's a bad. <laughs> what? See, yes. What? The problem is she's a little lighter than I than <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> she's lighter now, than us. You're talking about. Show them pictures side by side. You finna get us sued. Regina King, bad boy. Nigga. Yeah, I'm sticking by that. Don't Fuck that. Regina King looked like a Shaka Khan off the first Transformers cartoon movie. Oh, Regina King, beautiful. And she got a beautiful, I don't give a fuck smile. I she ain't mad at it. Any black woman show her gums like that got a good laugh. Nigga, okay, she don't we'll give a be, fuck. We'll cuff and walk with a fan for that. Nigga. I'll interlock my fingers, nigga. How old is she? Older than you, nigga. For sure, because this age. picture right here, nigga, she up there. Right. I ain't mad at y'all niggas. Y'all she niggas go right for these motherfuckers. She from right here. How yeah. old is Regina? Somebody say Corey hates dark women. You a motherfucking liar. Portia Williams. Yeah, she bad. It's not late and too light. SZA. Huh? I like SZA. She 48. I can swing on 48. Mm-hmm. Who? Regina King. Regina? Yes. Mm-hmm. She went to Westchester. I told y'all I like Regina, Regina Hall, Hall, too. Yeah. Who? Who is Regina Hall? It's not late and too light, but she's my number one. It's not late them. It's too light. She, what? For this conversation. That's a beautiful woman, no, regardless. But, no, I'm saying you would suck the like shit out of her ass if she let her. <laughs> First of all, Sonai Lathan is, is my number one. If we go in across any color, nigga, Sonai Lathan is my what number one. What kind of. Nigga, she, I like her so much after I seen Love and Basketball. She scared the shit out of me at Russell Simmons night. Nigga, I turned and she was right there. I was like, oh, nigga, that's the bitch. Nigga, I crumbled, nigga. She didn't say nothing to you, did she? She was like, excuse me, you were funny. And kept going. Uh-oh. I was like, Uh-oh. did she? <laughs> yes, <laughs> nigga. You did. And good. then her dad came out right after that. I was like, I sir, told, I told sir. you, Nate, tell I know. I man, might let you suck her ass for that. Oh, hey, I don't know about the ass, but a couple inches away is some good pussy, nigga. You don't don't suck that suck that ass, ass, nigga. nigga I married the shit out of Sonia and her little thumbs, baby. I see you. You oh. me. Let's get it. Sonia Lathan. Well, let's get a hyphen in this bitch. Sonia Lathan Jackson. Mm-hmm. Somebody say Lupita ugly as fuck. Crazy <laughs> as hell. They're going nuts. Y'all motherfucker crazy. No, no, but it's nah, little thumbs. thumbs. She got little thumbs, thumbs nigga. Again to eat Not little mind. son. You said Jill Scott a bad bitch, huh? Jill Scott's attractive. In the face? <laughs> Lunchroom lady ass Jill Scott. Man, let me show you Jill they Scott. There ain't never real been quick. a lunchroom lady that looked yeah, like Jill nigga, Scott. Get the fuck out of here. All the lunchroom ladies look like Jill Scott. <laughs> they just can't sing as good. Nigga, Jill Scott is fine. Somebody yes. said RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, Scott is, Jill Scott is legitimately fine as fuck. Legitimately <laughs> fine. <laughs> Woo! Right there, RuPaul. Somebody said RuPaul. <laughs> Jill Scott. Nah, RuPaul was on uh, that new show they got where the people all the world be voting for the talent. Jill Scott is oh, fucking can't. fine. Fine. You're tripping, tripping. Why you keep finding glamour shots? Just like you showed that picture of Regina King, show oh, a picture shit. of Jill Scott looking right. <laughs> That's Jay Lamont, nigga. Look up Jill Scott. <laughs> she jamming. <laughs> <laughs> she bad, man. <laughs> She All you gotta do is though. you can find a fucked up picture of anybody, but that girl. You can't is find a fucked up picture of me. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> she do have, she got some pictures where you be like, oh, <laughs> but at the end of the what day, what the fuck are you doing? At the end of the day, she can still. Why would you pull that up? Fuck it with me, she can have it all. Exactly, everybody has. Some I like Jill here. Scott, man. <laughs> Especially after that microphone video, that motherfucker took that microphone to the thiz naive, nigga. Right? What else she gonna do? She ain't about to do no sexy <laughs> shit. How do you know? Somebody in the chamber. She was sexy in the James Brown movie where she got up on top of the bed and was like, "Come here." She was a bad bitch in that. 
Yeah. <laughs> they just found somebody to match up with James Brown. <laughs> like, wow. It really was an insult. Because they was Scott like, they had some bad bitches. Jill Scott is bad. They had some bad bitches in casting, but they was like, no, no, no. Use Jill Scott. That's on you. Hey, I, I, I'll be interlocked fingers in the mall. We know you would, though. Jill oh, Scott. I like it. <laughs> I don't want your old ass hand, too. I love holding hands. <laughs> Shit. We could go. I know motherfuckers going to be together. talking. <laughs> Somebody say Jill Park. <laughs> Shit, I'll bring you a handful of crickets. You love me, D. Somebody say Fat and Fatterer. <laughs> yeah, but you'd want children, Nate. Mm. What you say? But you'd want children. That's where it ends. I would. Nate ain't got no kids, right? No, but he's gonna he can't want make some. it. He's going to want to. He said, I can't make him. <laughs> sperm dead. Nigga, they call me impotent. Nigga said it's sperm <laughs> How old are you, lady? How old are you? 35. Nigga, you ain't had no kids by not something wrong with you. I, I, may, I can make babies. Like, I just don't you got no one around this one. You can make babies, nigga. nigga. Said your sperm if you could do what you want to have by now. Ain't no niggas out here 35 ain't had no kids who capable. You to have kids, Nate. Yeah, right. That nigga's sperm is blocked. <laughs> ain't nigga, no light in it Right That nigga, <laughs> that nigga shooting syrup Out that <laughs> motherfucker You bitches nigga, love Sucking Nate dick They be like I'm gonna suck your dick Out there and make these pancakes Food <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> Foxy Brown Lil' Kim Old Lil' Kim Somebody oh, say Keisha yeah. from Belly <clears throat> For sure Lauren Hill Yes Lauren Hill. Yeah. Lauren Hill looked like Nelson Mandela, nigga. The fuck Lord is you talking Jesus. about? <laughs> Let them wait. Right. <laughs> Come on, stop. I feel Lauren like Hill no. ain't no bad bitch, nigga. <laughs> yes, she that is. That bitch was never bad. They yes, show glamour was. shots, nigga. Come on. Lauren has always been bad. <sighs> Stephanie Mills a bad bitch? Somebody said Missy Elliott. Now y'all going too goddamn oh, far. <laughs> I see you, Corey. Trying to set yeah, niggas up. Yeah. I see you, motherfucker. What, what do you ask? This nigga asked. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Hill's attractive. What is that? That's a cute bitch to you? That's Lord Hill. I see that's Lord Hill. Oh, Nelson yeah, that's slash Nelson Mandela. That's a very beautiful woman. She has African features. That's a very beautiful woman. Fuck out of here, nigga. That bitch look like a cab driver in motherfucking... Oh. Harlem in Nairobi, right? I like to be. I want the lips all out. I want the nostrils broad. I want, yeah. We we'll come that. back to this bullshit. Every time we get into this shit, it be some fucked up shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right now. Y'all gonna fuck? What an undemanding male this Superman is. <laughs> Janet Jackson, <laughs> Neil, right? <laughs> Janet Jackson ain't bad. Of course. All right then. When Janet Jackson was young, she was cute. And she's had some enhancements to oh, oh, stay the look she was then. I mean, she was always a beautiful girl. Then you know that whole family is gone oh, under. Yeah? You gone take under Latoya. The, you think Michael Jackson was you handsome? Take Latoya. I'm just saying, everybody over there went under the knife. Oh. He, he. You know, it was like we gonna stop in '95. Oh, oh, Lord. that's a baddie. Woo, this one. Who is that? Yeah, Lisha Cole. Yes, Lord. They got a list. Sexiest dark skinned women yes, in the world. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Who the top two? Anisha Cole, number three. Lanisha Who's Anisha Cole? Who, Who is that? Y'all look up. That girl, beautiful now. What a bitch at? <laughs> Kenya Moore's on here. Where the bitch at? Brenda Sykes. <laughs> I don't know who made the. Oh, she I, was. She's an old actress. Lanisha Cole is bad, boy. <laughs> What about that bitch up JoJo Dance was like, he tried to piss on me. Motherfucker, I sell pussy, not piss. <laughs> Y'all thought I forgot about that old bitch. God Did we talk about man. Jessica White? Because she's bad know, right here. Man. Let's get off right, this shit. We we, I can't believe we went this long well, on them yeah, fucking struggling face trying. ass bitches. Y'all brought up, nigga. Y'all motherfuckers. Y'all. Angela Bassett? Struggling face. I ain't got nothing to say about Angela Bassett. Nothing at all. Not Gorgeous. Really? Yeah, I agree. Very pretty. Yeah. Rose Jackson from Dead Presidents. And Boucher Wright. There's some bad ones, man. All right, so y'all good? All I right, like so D. Ones too. <laughs> y'all okay? <laughs> all these, all these Ooh, bitches got hope. Ali. <laughs> if y'all niggas was rich, the bitches y'all would choose would be discouraging. Y'all niggas happy, though. type of motherfuckers get money in. And, and get the bitch off motherfucking uh, thriller video. Ola, Ola Ray? Ray? Yeah. He didn't 
didn't think. Well, now Ola Ray that. back in the day was. I'm amazing. talking about Ola Ray now. Ola Ray now looked like <laughs> Sammy Sosa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Oh my God. She done had the skin treatment. Did she? <laughs> she bleached it. <laughs> he Did said she? the bitch looked like Sammy Sosa. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, I, didn't mean, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. You meant it. It's just you no. feel like uh, that's her. No. That's Ooh. her now. Look at the what? bitch. The bitch look irregular than a month. Oh my god. Uh, on right. the Joker that side, thriller now. Yeah, now that right. them, them, them monsters really got that bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, Michael. <laughs> and she really was look oh, cute when she did the shit. video. That's how she looked. That's what y'all will get. Y'all will get oh, a motherfucking. That's terrible. Why'd she do that? If you got paper, you ain't supposed to have no regular bitch around you because you're gonna get fucked over anyway. You don't make good choices anyway. You might well be with a cute bitch in court. Damn. Oh, she missed Ain't nothing worse girl. than being in court with a bitch that look like you. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well get a bad bitch to go right. rob you anyway. Right. Hey, look, this is um, uh, all section varsity player that I married. Uh, <laughs> 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 this all city football star is uh, <laughs> thinking, I wish I would wake up to some motherfucking. Anyway, let oh me shut God, the fuck up. Do you call? Yeah. You got on that Charles Bronson ass motherfucker. What? V uh turtleneck. Anyway. Oh, look at that porn. <laughs> Charles Bronson. Are you guys done? <laughs> Trying to hide them porn pictures. Talking about women that wouldn't That's talk all any of them anyway. <laughs> <child. laughs> oh, all the bitches they said Just anybody the, could get no, them. No, all no, the bitches no, they no. said. None of those women would talk to you guys. Every anyways. bitch they said you okay. could get them. Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> On yeah. good game. You don't even need paper for the bitches they talk about. That nigga said <laughs> Oh, Melinda right. woman Melinda Williams, a girl who booty they grabbed in the wood. Stacy's sister. I don't remember who it was though. Uh, it's track the dark. Yeah. This is a part of the show that Beautiful has that been anticipated yeah. and tolerated. Is these loose talk, talk about bullshit? Thank you for that. And pardon me if I have a, some problems here and there. I'm going through that little trial with the new contacts. Why don't you put on your glasses so you can no, see? No, because then I would double the vision. It'd be real bad. I have the contacts on right now. This one's. But don't the glasses work? But I try. I'm gonna try. Read it with your fine ass. The glasses. I have to wear these once every day to get your regular eye ass on. I, if I look down, I can see through this right eye. The right eye is reading. Wait a minute. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a robot. <laughs> Holy one anyway, eye good. All let, right, us, so let us struggle through this shit. Shush. Let's see. Oh, like I didn't struggle through that earlier tirade of just uh, women and uh, who looks good to you? D I can't say nothing because we were talking about dark skin women. Hilarious. And the people in the chat room would be like, D, oh, prejudice ass. That's oh, what they, happened oh, to me. Oh, yeah, they go, oh, yeah, I can't say <laughs> that. You can't say nothing. Well, you can talk about report. dark bitches if I you want even, to. But first, why are they all bitches? You always say that since saying dark women. What is the definition of a bitch? A female dog. Okay, but the other one. An what? aggressive. What? What is the one. definition of a bitch? I'm not even for the coastline where you're trying thing. to build. See? You see? <laughs> I think it's an aggressive. The other one, though. No. Uh, what is the definition of a bitch? I'm curving away from the that. The other definition. A female dog, wolf, fox, or otter. Or otter? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> they call these hoes otter. otters. otters a bitch? <laughs> What's the next one, Siri? Sorry, I couldn't find Cardi. Bitch, what's the definition of a bitch? <laughs> As a noun, it means a female dog, wolf, fox, or otter. Do you want to hear the next one? Yes. I'm having trouble hearing you. You bitch! <laughs> Go ahead, dude. Anyway, all right. So Seriously, get this. Get problem. this. There's um, there's some news regarding the death of James Brown. And yes, uh, it has she. been. It has been over 13 years since his passing back in 2006. And man, whoo, these claims are something else. Um... Since its passing, there's been a very dedicated group of people, they include family, friends, and associates, all pushing for the authorities to look further into how he died. They believe that James was murdered and that he didn't die of a heart attack with fluid in his lungs due to a battle of pneumonia. Mm. This probe into his death, along with other questionable and possible crimes, is still actually ongoing, but the news just got a hold of some of the details of this probe that has been happening since his passing. And it's pretty heavy if you Google it. Um, they had good enough evidence to um, 
interrogate 140 people. They put together 1,300 pages of text messages. They collected tens of thousands of pages from police reports and court records. So not only James's death, but also his personal manager's death, which has been highly suspicious. He was the last and only person in the hospital room, uh, and the family has always believed that that guy was um, lying, that he wasn't telling the truth. Well, he's dead now in a suspicious death. And they stated that uh, James was trying to actually leave his lawyer and his accountant around that time. Um, his accountant was actually confined in his home for three years because he got busted on charges of taking um, extra money from James's account. Uh, also, that guy is now dead. He died of a suspicious death. Oh, man. Um, and I got the feeling... They also there's claim, nothing wrong. This group also claims that there's enough evidence to prove that James' third wife was also murdered. <laughs> and it's gotten so strange, this whole probe, they're finding out more and more with so many suspicions that a close friend even gathered a vial of James's blood along with the tubing that was connected to his bed. Now, his daughter, Yama, declined an autopsy for James, which everybody has found quite strange. And she's saying it was her own personal reasons. And another daughter, Deanna, declines to confirm where her father's remains are still being kept. Anyway, so many other concerns. I mean, there's been so many deaths related to this. Brown, no, I'm not. Brown's other daughter, LaRonda Petit, <laughs> and her husband. See right? you. Listen, one of his other daughters and her husband are Got both. Got a brand new bag. Both of them actually believed that James was murdered as well. Well, they are both dead. Well, let me tell you something oh, about the people in the son. music industry. If you have a catalog that's worth some money, you're going to die in a weird way. They going to fuck with you now. Well, have you ever noticed that? Mm-hmm. Well, nobody knows who it was because this could be actual family stuff. No, or it's, it's a hit. It pr- probably, yeah. But Anybody who got something to do with the shit, they getting it too. Talking about like somebody who might have rights to the money and all that shit, right. you right. finna right. get it too. Right, right, right. right. Did you see the, uh, uh, the Miles Davis movie? The, the Miles Davis movie. Did no. you see it? The documentary? No. You yeah. yeah, there was a... No, it was an actual film. Oh, no. Don Cheadle plays Miles Davis. And oh, yeah, he won in that scene, you hear the music executives talking about how he's worth more oh, to us oh, dead oh, no. than alive. Really? Yeah. So that's kind of their thought process in a lot of ways, too, when they get an artist that's over the hill, but superstar status. Because you black, status. you unrepresented, yeah. and they can get you. Ain't nothing going to happen. Yeah, Yeah. so it's pretty It's pretty heavy if you guys Google it. There's a lot more details, um, <sighs> and it just gets wilder and wilder, but they said that this probe is still ongoing. Yeah. So it's already a lot of information that came out of it, so that's pretty wild. Somebody say Michael Jackson and Prince, now the music is in commercials. Yeah. Whitney Houston, too. Yeah, Whitney. Everybody, yeah. everybody who got a catalog that's worth some, and they know that you're not represented, you're not, you, 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 you black. Mm-hmm. They own that ass. There's no repercussions to murdering black people in America. Yeah, they own wow. that ass now. If it get a lot of publicity, maybe they'll send your mom and them a check. Wow. I'm just saying. Yeah. All you gotta do is just watch what happened to people with catalogs. Mm-hmm. That's true. Be careful. Anyway, I'm uh, moving on. There was a, a new study came out. Somebody say big payback. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit. A new study has come out, and it claims that men living near busy and congested street areas will have more erectile dysfunction than others that live in areas with less traffic. (laughs) These results of this finding have raised serious concerns about the potential role played by long-term exposure to gasoline vehicle exhaust. All men living in places with high levels of pollution also were found to have distorted sperm. So please look up that story. It just came out. Hmm. Yeah. So they're saying to be careful because a lot of the guys that they tested because of that, first it was pollution, which they did find causes a lot of damage in both men and women. But this new study came out about erectile dysfunction, but they discovered that it also not only are, were they having erectile dysfunction, but that their sperms were messed up. Please, bitch, you got the cootie. No, because they live in a congested <laughs> area, busy street. If you live near a freeway, like all the stuff coming up and also on the streets. Put this stop sign in you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's that red light. <laughs> okay. Somebody called dick traffic. Right. <laughs> oh, I feel it coming out. <laughs> you better get it out, bitch. Okay. Uh, also, um, I want to. Nate lives by the. I might want to try this one, unless what they you want to. What they say? <laughs> <laughs> Nate lives by the four hundred five. Stop! They keep it up. They're so stupid. Anyway, you know what? I always like to talk about new apps, and this one sounds really interesting. As a matter of fact, we're one of the only cities that has it now, and the other ones, there's ten other cities that are going to be having it by the um, end of March. But it's called. I don't know if you guys seen all the ads all around LA. 
Uh, anyway, it's called um, the Get Around. It's an instant car rental app now. This app is a car rental on demand. You can rent a car with no Unleaded paperwork, ski. no waiting, and no hassle. Uh, with Get Around, you can get you can rent thousands of different cars anywhere from a Toyota to a BMW to a Tesla, and you can unlock them all with your phone, just like you would the scooters. It's free to download. Sign up is easy, and there are no monthly fees. They claim you that drop the car off on the corner. They claim they're offering you peace of mind by including <laughs> rental insurance on every trip. That is a convenient <laughs> hourly rental, and they start. Get this. You can rent that little, you know, the little, um, what are those car, cars called? The Gay car. Small one. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> that car you can actually rent for $5. You bullshit. No. So anyway, I want to go try it because you can download the app now and go in L.A. and it'll tell you where the next nearest car is that you can unlock with your phone and get in there and it has the keys. Somebody say jam-packed jizz. That's Basically, it's they, so they say they're offering flexibility, more choice, and freedom than any other car rental service and that they will help the environment by optimizing local cars instead of adding more to the roads. I'm going to try it in Sacramento. You should. No, they don't have it yet. It's coming. There's about 10 other cities. What LA city is the got first it? one. L.A. Fuck that. So they say you download your key to cars in the city and hit the road with the top of your uh, just the, the tap of your phone. <laughs> They're calling it the new Airbnb, but for cars. And right now it's only available in LA <laughs> with about 10 to 12 other cities coming in another month. They better have some fly ass cars, goddammit. it. They say you can them little bitty ass no, skating you, No, rink. you can choose. <laughs> skate <laughs> bumper like cars. Nate was sitting in it in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's stupid. <laughs> 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 Time. What Remember about uh, he be managing the time? What about Savage Twenty One sure. Savage? They want to know about what happened. He felt Corey like he wasn't talk. important. No, it's because they, it it happened last week, so it's like a whole week. It's like they've heard everything. Other people, shows, you don't know. I, it's a lot of people don't know about the shit. Okay, well, all I know is that today, um, he's not. They have not sent him back to his. Oh, so he's town. still here. He's still here. They're holding him still here. Mm-hmm. Um, I heard the latest news was. His attorney is going to try and fight and say that, yes, he did He he did overstay his welcome because he didn't apply for that other visa. <laughs> Even though a visa is very temporary, if you guys don't know about, you know, staying in other countries, a green card is, like, long-term, right? Mm. You can work, you can do a, a visa is very short time, so he never redid his visa. Mm. And anyway, so they have him here still, but I, his attorney is claiming that the good, th- the only good thing, even though the bad part about him getting arrested before, mm-hmm. that's not going to shed good light. Um, on, in his case, but he does have three children that were born here, ah, and that he's taking. So that's care the good of, thing, and yeah. that he's that he's taking care of. So it might go in his favor. However, he's now claiming Twenty One Savage and his people are claiming that that um, he released. This is all due f- uh, to him releasing his new single, which he's making fun of um, how flimsy and how um, easy it is to come up. over here. Yeah, how messed up oh. they are with uh, immigration. So wow, I don't know. He's claiming that they came after him. I don't know. So we'll see. we'll see, but it's um. Well, good luck with with um staying in this fucked up place. I know you don't want to go back to the other shit. <laughs> no, because if you do, you know, if they get if they if they deport, you can't come back. You can't come back. Oh I yeah. Mean, it's a lot for him to even come and work. Yeah. So hopefully it'll work out. I don't know. I mean, he's got he's got some loot. Thank goodness, because somebody that that happens to that doesn't have any money, they're gonna definitely get rid of you. They fucked in the game. You did. Yeah. So anyway, uh, also I want to recommend some releases of some new TV and movies coming out this week to look <laughs> out for. There's the new BET drama series called American Soul. Which what is, is the, that about? Which is the untold story of the launch of the first nationally syndicated black music show, Soul Train. Soul! The first two episodes actually air tonight, right now. The they first got gay shit on. in it? No. Uh, it airs tonight. It's back to back. The cast is uh, Cinqua Walls. Um, he plays the older uh, Don Cornelius, and he's been in many um, movies, uh, but most would know him from Power. He played in Power. Also, Kelly Price makes appearances. Bobby Brown, Kelly Price, a um, couple of other people, uh, just to name a few. And also a new movie, speaking of Taraji, uh, What Men Want. With her and Tracy Morgan and Erica Badu, actually. Starts this Friday the 8th. That looks kind of funny. Did you see the previews for that? What y'all doing now? Yeah, where she can hear men. Who is that? Exactly. It's men's thoughts. Oh, they she was talking about how Minister Farrakhan oh, sure. got on his uh, honorary Q shit. Mm-hmm. He a good dude. He ain't going to be like, I don't want that shit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Minister Farrakhan, they go... 
speak his mind in those situations like that. He gonna be like, I right, would be honored, him. brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To yeah, got one of those. Wait a minute, you got a Minister <laughs> Farrakhan voice? I have a Minister Farrakhan voice <laughs> because that I'm here to funny. tell you. If you do what you're supposed to, <laughs> right? Right. Go up. There we go. Oh, dear brother, I'm passionate. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice if <laughs> if I'm allowed to. <laughs> but if you push me, uh huh. <laughs> so last thing I want to close with. Brother. You got more? Well, you always say that, and then I always can say. <laughs> Anyway, no, I wanted to end it with this interesting story because it's a new group, and they're called the anti natalists I don't know if you heard of that. It's kind of it's interesting, right? They, anyway, this guy, he wants to sue his parents for giving birth to him without his consent. Now, before you go in, let me give a quick breakdown of what it is. Let me explain it. It's a new movement. Again, the anti natalist It's a movement that believes that having children is morally wrong. His name is Raphael Samuel, and he compares Wait. having children to kidnapping and slavery. He says, what? although he loves his parents... And that they have a good relationship, but that they had him for their joy and their pleasure. He says his life's been amazing, but that he doesn't see why he should put another life through the rigmarole of school, finding a career, especially when they didn't ask to exist. They say that parents are hypocrites. This group says that parents are hypocrites. A good parent puts the child above its wants and needs, but... Um, but the child itself is a want of the parent. Now, if the parents truly know what is good for their children, why did they have them? Also... Adding, isn't forcing a child into this world and then forcing it to have a career kidnapping and slavery? Anyway, what? The only reason your children are facing problems is because you ended up having them. The group is huge, and especially in India. They believe that having children is a strain on Earth's resources and that people should avoid uh, further procreation for environmental reasons. Basically, they are a group of people that have decided to not produce. Well, die then, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, like the most dumbest was, shit yeah, ever, dumb as hell. <laughs> ever given attention to. No, but he's what? got a big following. This, this, he does, and this group does. Jesus. The only reason I brought it up, because they, they were actually went viral. They've got a big following. Okay. You know what, motherfucker? You got some shine, but... You know that's some sucker shit. <laughs> that's sucker <laughs> shit. <laughs> Don't have kids. You supposed to. That's what makes like having porn. kids You're beautiful. You supposed to go take the girl. You're supposed to, get to have kids by the girl that's really down for you. And if you don't know who the girl is that's really down for you, it shows. Right. My first child was Here by a bad. You chose that ain't it. shit. But I was younger. Oh, when I got older, on. I had a child by a woman who I can honestly say was down for me and got my back, and I'm down for her. Even though she married to uh, some other motherfucker, we I got her back and she got my back. As far as I'm concerned, we we ain't no oh I hate this motherfucker now because I ain't been around him type motherfuckers mm. and shit. I was smarter with my second child. Um, even though I'm glad both of my kids here. You even mean though the second one you kept. Okay, go ahead. No, no, I'm saying the second one was was kept. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the second one was kept. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't the second one. <laughs> the first me. four was murdered. I know, yeah. By unsure bitches. You're going to make your jersey murker. Right, goddamn. We don't want to talk about all them abortions you had, goddamn. No, mm-hmm. Doctor don't didn't even need the hate. machine. Don't hate. You I just call in. Baby. They got an abortion app for your pussy, doctor. But you don't want it? All right, hold on. Don't Done. hate. Don't <laughs> hate. <laughs> <laughs> you had to pay child support all Yo, D, let's not keep this one. Lo siento. I'm a high roller. Jalapeno. I chose. 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 She <laughs> ain't, <laughs> ain't fucking with us. No. She done cleaned and organized everything over there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, y'all talking y'all little shit. I'm getting ready to get up to eat some more. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get ready to take a quick break and motherfucker have a motherfucking practice session, yeah. goddammit. And we're going to be back in a minute. 51 motherfucking 50.
right, so we're going to go ahead and get this part of the show over. Uh, it's called D's Loot Talk About Bullshit.
my nigga Bodie on the track, go.
my nigga Bodie on the track, go! Damn, I can't even do this shit no more. <laughs> you used to be boxing? Yeah. I think you got to, like, cup the mic. Pause. Oh, do you? Ooh. I can't make that Dougie Fresh sound no more. I used to be able to do that shit. Oh, D got it. I know your throat. Your <laughs> well, let me shut up. Wow. <laughs> Open up <Ooh>. one throat. <laughs> 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 like, Yeah. <laughs> 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 Strong ass throat. Mm. Soft throat. Right. But my palate is still. <laughs> oh, damn. D don't have to do that for real. Well, shit. Let's make the song to her beatboxing. Cricket palate. <laughs> <laughs> Jiminy time. <laughs> Frank. As we do. As we do. As we promise. This is the song that's due. Hit it. <laughs> Yeah, you know what it is, 51, 50 records in this motherfucker 51, 50, we was talking about it, now we about to out it Uh, hit it Talking about these women and hoes on the show But what's a bad bitch? A bad bitch We was talking about these women and hoes on the show But what's a bad bitch? I don't know What's a bad bitch? I don't know Bad bitch walking the door and it's on A bad bitch always getting her phone dialed Niggas offering paper off top Bad bitches, they put your heart in shock You wanna keep them, but you can't because you're weak A bad bitch You don't care if she got stanky feet Bad bitches They run the world So Fuck Goldberg That ain't no girl nigga Talking about hoes on the show But yo What's the bad bitch? Bad bitch A bad bitch I don't know. We was talking about these women and hoes on the show But what's the bad bitch? Bad bitch What's the bad bitch? I don't know Talking about women and hoes on the show But what's the bad bitch? Bitch. A bad bitch. I don't know. Man, a bad I'm bitch is a bitch is a woman that look fine. And she get old and all she do is age like fine wine. I'm talking about that type of bitch. I wanna use my ding ling I was talking about that bad bitch. Her name Regina King. Uh, the type of bitch that make your boss go boom, boom. I be with Brandy and I am sitting up in her room, nigga. 
You know what it is. I be like, oh boy. I like old bitches too. The mama off baby boy. Oh, yeah, we talking about these women and the hoes on the show. Bro, what's a bad bitch? Uh -huh. Explain a bad bitch. I don't know. We were talking about these women and hoes on the show. But what's a bad bitch? I don't know. Bad bitch. I don't know. I don't know. Let's talk about these women and hoes on the show. But what's a bad bitch? I don't know. It's a bad bitch. Bad we just talk about women and hoes on the show. But mm -hmm. tell me what the definition of a bad bitch. Yo. You just a rest haven for hoes. <laughs> just a rest haven for hoes. And everybody knows. Bad bitches, it don't matter if they ain't got no makeup on. They face still glow. Yeah. I went with a bad bitch bad. on my prom. Oh, now the bitch look like she died in Vietnam. God well, damn. Bad bitches, some of them don't last that long. Cause they bad features ain't made real strong. Put your makeup on and try to hide the beast. Hide the way your pussy smell like yeast But uh, Shit. bad bitches gon' always glow Bad bitches work niggas for that dough Yeah, mm. who's talking about these women and hoes on, on the, the show? show? But who's a bad bitch? I don't Who know. you think a bad bitch? I don't know Talking about these women and hoes on the show But who's a bad bitch? I don't bad know bitch? Bad bitch? Yeah, Fuck bitch. it, kick off another verse Let it be spit by me We are bullshit if we sit here and overlook D she be bad than the motherfucker in here eating bugs, eating scorpions and cookies. What the fuck? I be like, God damn, my nigga in glacy ass. I ain't talking about fluffy, nigga. That shit is a mess. Yeah, yeah. nigga, I was about to go in here. Yeah, see, you about to choke. Yeah. I was about to choke and die on this slappy tappy. Yo, R. Kelly, I know you love oh, shit. Ass. Fun. But the bad bitches you choose are way too young hey. You can't hang at the grammar school picking the best Or you going to jail And the rest of them niggas in your celly gonna hit that ass But I heard that you will pass out from stamina and dick Okay That's what you get Fucking them young ass prick Nigga talk about the women and hoes on the show But who's a bad bitch? What be in? Bad bitch What be in? Talk about these women and hoes on the show But who's a bad bitch? I don't know Fuck that shit I don't know What be looking like a dog on the floor It's not a bad bitch Damn Not a bad bitch Damn Jill Scott built like a car getting towed. She not a bad bitch. <laughs> not a bad bitch. She no. is though. She is though. You bullshitting, Corey. I was tripping when she took the mic like she was worried. She was like, let me get it and took that shit to her throat. I know y'all saw that video. That shit was viral for sure. Jill Scott, she can get it. And Gabrielle too. I don't give a damn what you say. Fuck the Wayne Way. I'm talking about these women and hoes on the show. That's a bad bitch. That ain't no a bad bitch. I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think the bitches that you choose prove nothing but you like to drink that booze. If you gon' claim a bitch to be real bad, bad, make her look cute even though her face is made mad. Okay. I, I ain't gon' even lie. The bitches you said. Ah, I can't see it. <laughs> That's some bull. Them bitches you fucking with. Man, look you like, tripping. Look like, like John stool. Bones <laughs> in this bitch dress like Coriana Jones. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Nate. You was on the roof and your ass ate the orange chicken all fucking week. Yeah. <laughs> Them the words you speak, nigga. Damn right I ate it, nigga, cause I'm big and I'm fat. But that still don't cover the fact that you got on a tie-dye cowboy hat, nigga. That's talking about me. <laughs> but I don't care. But yeah. I bet we'll both be laughing if Zoe show his hair. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> My hat look like a shark. Okay. Shark fin inside of the game. <laughs> okay. Ground <Okay>. beef. Okay. <laughs> Is this the topic? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the motherfucking water, bitch! It's a shark! It's a motherfucking Meg! You're like a Venice Y'all chose group. the bitches that's easy to beat. <laughs> <laughs> the bitches y'all chose look like the crickets D.E. Hey! Jiminy snap. <laughs>
Thank you. Bad bitch. What's the definition of a bad bitch, Dick? Talk about bad bitches when I tell you who's the baddest. I swear on my mama, it might be Tiffany Haddish. Man, Tiffany. Well, maybe even Gladys. Yes, she yeah. is. I'm a girl now. Tiffany, good people, but she ain't fuck with you like That's that. My girl now. You never know. You never so, know. Ain't gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Nate, you gonna do right by me? Mm-hmm. Who's that guy that what's her name's marrying? Who? Uh, Serena Taraji. Williams. Taraji. Who's Taraji? She Taraji get married? Hansen, yeah. Oh, that's she ever get married? Yeah. Oof, he is good looking. Mm. What nationality is he? It's a brother. Taraji. Taraji. I, think Hansen, he, I, I don't know if he's still playing, but I know he. The NFL player. Of course. Oh, yeah. She still got that pool. She still in shit. Mm-hmm. Taraji. <laughs> 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 and Taraji a good actor, too. Yeah, I like, I like Taraji. Even, oh. even in that movie, um, what's that movie with the pimp? The Pootie pimp. Tang. No. Oh, boy, we're singing that song. Oh, Whoop yeah. that trick. Oh, yeah. Whoop that trick. Yeah, what was that called? That nigga made me blank. Terrence Howard. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hustle and flow. Let's Hustle and flow. Thank you. Yeah. Now Let's she ain't have on no makeup, and she ain't look that bad. Mm-hmm. That was just straight how she really looked. Mm-hmm. It's I always like to see when women scared of you, goddamn. She was looking scared <laughs> in that movie. That make women look beautiful when they like this. You didn't like it when Viola was, you didn't like it when Viola was crying. That's never mind. That's not bubble. No, Viola off. is different. That's <laughs> not bubble. <laughs> They I was here with you. I was like, nigga, not me. I'm about to leave this whole theater. Nigga. <laughs> they ain't got no cut. You saw a close up. Cut. Theater. You talking about Viola? Oh. Like, fuck up. What was the director? They cut. Get this bitch no, tissue. <laughs> we need a dryer tank just for safety. <laughs> <laughs> just for safety. You remember that movie Analyze That? Oh, <laughs> An old yeah. girl was on set. She was like a mob queen. Mm. It was like, who is this extra? Why is she here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's how they used to do it. And they were like, chill, chill. She Bitch, the extra's there. over there. That's the star. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> right? <laughs> Why didn't somebody tell me she's a star? You're fired. He fired the <laughs> love. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was a good movie. Oh, yeah. That analyze that. Uh-huh. Yeah, that shit was funny as shit. Hell no. Kiki Palmer got his. Got that sexy top lip. Niggas is dumb as hell. Who? Kiki Palmer. Kiki Palmer. Taraji ain't bad. Oh, you wild as hell. We going back to women? Oh, I'm not. No. I'm just reading. It was awkward when D was talking about some man was cute. Oh, my. See, ain't that awkward? Yeah, like I'm going to be like, you right, girl. What the fuck? Right. No. I'm just saying. I just had to put Hustle one in there. Hustle and hope. Them. Engaged finally because she was always talking about how hard it was to find. He seems, you know. Taraji, don't get married, goddammit. <laughs> I know you older now. You got to understand, goddammit. <laughs> marriage ain't marriage. Is, marriage should be rare. You need to get married when you're fifty and older. She's don't get married there. before fifty. Nobody and not everybody has your experiences, though, Corey. I'm just saying, most people are gonna wind up not happy, especially entertainers. Well, let them do what they want to do. No, <laughs> fuck that. Don't do it. If you listen to me, you'll be like me. What? I'm just saying. Oh. I'm telling a woman she can do whatever she wants to do. I made <laughs> offers. I just didn't want to. Just to just. To sure get you did. Yes, I did. I just didn't. I'm serious. Somebody really wanted to marry. Yeah, a couple. You times. know, people say they want to marry you, but then when it's time to get married, they be like, uh. Uh, what I well, meant I don't was, know I didn't go for it, so I wouldn't know. Is this the guy? That doesn't look like him. Oh, he. This is a regular on. every oh, nigga. No, when you see his body. Did you say he a regular everyday looking nigga? It's a regular every nigga. Every nigga look like this. Hell <laughs> no, they wish they did. Nah, that nigga look like forty two other niggas. In his face. <laughs> that nigga look like half my frat brothers. Nigga, he look just like. Nah, that's not the picture I saw. Somebody in the chat room called you Ice D. <laughs> <laughs> D, he probably was cute to you. It's just like somebody, if I got a hot dog and you ain't got one, you're going to be like, oh, that hot dog look good. Oh, my God. If you had a hot dog, you wouldn't be crazy about it. I was crazy That's a good about it. I'm just saying good for her. That's a good point. I'm not coming from this guy, please. You like him because he was with point. her and she was happy. If she, and that's so great. Good for her. You know what I'm saying? But like, if he was just by himself, you wouldn't care. Women like dudes who wit. Women. Oh, That's how you get women. They be like, you see who I got? They be like, okay, I'll oh, fuck you. Oh my okay, I'll fuck you. Nobody ever <laughs> wants to admit that. <laughs> if, yeah. I, if I walk in a club with an attractive woman, I can get women easier. That's true. No, you can get those awful women easier because they have on their brain. Right. Still women. Exactly. <laughs> she said awful women. Nah, say the women. Women be trying to edge each other out. Mm. 
That's right. True. Always. Yeah. But if that's you want true. that kind of woman, then go for it. Who's fault So there's that? women that's not like that? What do you mean? Of course. Sure there are. There's old they ladies that don't the, like that. Women that still think they got some prime in them is definitely up for the... They want to fuck some other bitch man. That's just, just how it go. That's as what it is. Even men are like that, but I'm saying with women, most of them are happier with somebody who's wanted. That's just... How it go? And that's, nobody likes to say shit like that. No, that's somebody real. who's wanted has more stock than somebody no, who's not wanted. Wash that is his the clothes, truth. Wash his clothes and deal with all his bullshit at home, and they just want him. Listen here, you gonna wash these clothes? Because somebody else want me. Yeah, you understand? Know Sancho is. Sancho is a side guy. You said you, you want to be here, here. baby. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know what that. you say, so? That's that's true. You get to use that as leverage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You get you the side chick. Somebody else want to do this now. You gonna have to clean all this shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I just want the good times with him. You take care of all that old bullshit, family stuff, bills, sickness. Go family ahead. stuff is the bullshit. In that wow. case, I'm saying when they want to mess around with a dude on the side, but most <laughs> she's trying to make the best of it. It ain't no, working. No, no, I'm just saying. But most women want love in a whole different way. But if you're gonna go that route, that's probably what they want. They're gonna look for that, and they're like, oh, most women want obedience. That? They don't want love. Wow. They want obedience. Yeah. A lot of women like to control. Yeah. Conformity. Yeah, really? They want, the, they want that control. Conformity, right. yeah. yeah. Why won't you act right? That's what most women be hollering <laughs> out. Why are you still doing what you did when I met you? <laughs> Bitch, I'm me. <laughs> you promised to change. Right. See that? They're all I speaking, did promise you change. I got a roll of quarters for you right here. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. They're all speaking from a Well, shit, where's the contract? Yeah, I didn't know we were signing the goddamn <laughs> right. thing. The right. great Nate Jackson. Bitch, shut up. <laughs> You What's a somebody, bad bitch? Find bad somebody bitch? right now, Nate, that's like, oh my God, I'm going to help you, boo, while you make it. I'm there for you. You got to find somebody right now. That's something that's, that's, something that's, that's no, young. I that two years ago. Yeah. Young, no, I'm like, pure. Bitch, you see my stock, bitch. <laughs> Look, somebody, somebody who helps somebody <laughs> out. I don't want no peanut. While they're young. Somebody who's there for you. Y'all met each other while you're young. Both of y'all are young. That's some shit that's rare. And if y'all make it, that's Good. rare also because most people just don't make it. Right. So planning to make it is actually not wise. Mm. You have no, to plan yeah. to evacuate from this you motherfucker have have eventually. Route, right. You got to have an evacuation yeah. plan. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying in most situations. That's and true. nobody's going to tell you this. That's true. Dr. Phil will never tell you have an evacuation plan. Plan to leave. Right. In the beginning. That's right. In case, yeah. In Before case you get in so deep, glass, you can't see right. a way out. So, Before as you, you plan to leave, is that deception? Is that deception? I don't think because so. you feel like you're wise enough to be able to cut it off without a lot of collateral damage. That's is smart. that de- is that deceiving the person no. you with? Oh man, because you can't give them all if you're going to plan to escape. I think yeah. it's deceiving if you keep it going for a certain extended period of time. And nah, if you, but if you came up with your conclusion already, sure, get the hell out. It's okay. There's ways of doing it without total. When do you come up with a conclusion? Because if I meet a person, I expect the worst. <laughs> but <laughs> Corey got a point because a lot of people, when shit look right on paper, they move too fast. They do a lot of shit that they shouldn't be doing so take before they Don't figure rush. out that escape route. Yeah. I mean, they done moved in together. They got joint bank accounts. They doing all types of shit because the shit Can't looked right on paper. Well, you see what I'm roll. saying? Can't break up until the lease is up. Slow now you saving roll. money to leave your bitch. Mm-hmm. Now when they call the cops, whose apartment is it? Uh-huh. Both y'all got to Shit, both uh-huh. y'all. Uh-huh. I'm just saying, like, if you, if you check, like D say, check the pedigree on mm-hmm. most women, there's not many women that's worth putting your stock into. Yeah. If you are a person out here working hard and you coming up with ways to beat the game, how many women do you think you're going to find that's worth, okay, all I have, I'm going to share it and invest it with you. It's, this is us. Mm. It's almost insane to do something you like that. Let me ask you I think that goes both ways. I know you be like, nigga, it's about time we going, but let me ask you something. No, no, ask me whatever. How do you decipher between... Uh, how do you know when a woman really is being genuine versus giving you a representative that she knows fits in your life? When she starts looking in your eyes and not over your shoulder. 
That's well put, Zo. But everybody won't understand that. That's an older dude. <laughs> older dudes, a, a, they know that what you talk about. But look at you mean, in the eye. And that's fine, but I'm saying specific, there's chicks that don't fit in your life right, but they will sit there fake the funk. They'll make themselves. They don't fake so long. Flirt. That's right. the so you gotta just, time is the only thing that you can tell. That's the average. Woman. I used to think if she give you that pussy, that's like, oh, okay, she's serious. But now I'm like, nah, because they're oh, using that serious. like that. That's not serious. Anybody get to throw that right. out there? That's pussy right. is one of the right. greatest pussy is weapons like street, ever. That's yeah. Street tacos, right? Now. I'm aware yeah. of that now. <laughs> but I'm saying, how do you know when a woman is being genuine, like it's legit not, genuine? You need to tell you she dope. She kind of fits. I think she kind of don't. I think when she knows a lot of your problems and she stays down. When she knows the truth what about you, you don't got a shit and she problems. stay down. She stays down right? Nate, you I got the answer. Time. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. The time answer to what you back, just, but go through some the answer to what you just asked me is this. Mm -hmm. Watch how she do things, and watch who she has around her. That's the most important thing because if a bitch is about something, she ain't got people she making excuses for around her. Hmm. When a bitch is about some, the people she around are not bullshit motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. See, a bitch will act like, oh, that's that hoe. No, you be with that bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you do like she do. Because right. if you didn't, you wouldn't be around her. Right. You actually are weak for using her as an escape goat mm -hmm. for what the fuck y'all do. Because bitches who about some don't keep. Bullshit motherfuckers around them. They just like dudes mm -hmm. who are about some don't keep bullshit motherfuckers around them. Watch the company of the motherfucker and watch what they do when shit get when shit hit the fan. Mm -hmm. Cause if they blame you or anybody else for what happened, mm -hmm. that motherfucker is not worth being around. Mm -hmm. Nah, that's real. When you see a woman kick out kick one of her friends out of the inner circle for being on some fuck shit, that's how you know you got a real woman. Like you got to go, bitch. You can't be around us. But oftentimes, as the great Jeff Brown says, good women circle the wagon around bad women. They be trying to protect bad women instead of kicking them out of the circle. Mm -hmm. That ain't a good woman. They're like, this is our little fixer up. We, we, we working mm -hmm. on her. A good woman ain't got time for hoes. Mm -hmm. A good woman going to get behind what she's supposed to do. And if she allow a man in her life, she gonna get behind him because she not gonna have no bullshit nigga around her. You guys right. are also just talking about the friends. It speaks highly on the man she keeps around when you know he ain't about shit either, and she still has him around. Mm -hmm. I likewise, agree. Likewise with well, a man. I mean, she's not gonna have no man around if she's already interested. No, interested. but I'm just saying when if you if you see if you're if you're interested in a girl and she's got a dude around, you're like, why is she still with him? Same thing with a guy. Why is he still with her? Says a lot about him. Still holding on to that. Well, I will say this, though, about men and women. The problem with men, if you're a nice guy and your protector mode, your provider mode mm -hmm. kicks in, you'll make a fool out of yourself for years. And they milk yeah. that. That's true. You'll make yeah. a fool out of yourself they, they know where for they, they years. This is true. Like, like good you, man. you, I agree with what D said, mm -hmm. 100%. This is true. But I'm telling you. Men have something about them. They think they're supposed to protect. Provide. Oh. And Even. provide for the woman that's around them. It's called I call it sucker mode. Yeah, sure. Simping. Yeah, <laughs> sucker mode. If you in yeah, sucker yeah. mode for a woman mm -hmm. that ain't right to you. Right. That's what you, makes a sucker you mode. You detrimental to yourself if she yeah. and her. You, if she right to you, the same actions ain't considered a sucker mode. Right. Because women think they have... A monopoly on discernment, but men have to use discernment for helping all women. You can't help all women. There are some women out there that are preying on your helping nature, right? On your providing and protecting nature, right? So you have to use discernment to be able to go. Mm, what is the nature of a woman, Zoe? What do you think? Like we say, I, I men are providers. Mm -hmm. Men are men are uh, protectors. Well, some, it, some care, would say care nurturers, caregivers. Uh, you know. Did you hear what he said? Because that's deep. Mm -hmm. the, the, the the bitches you fuck with, if they're not nurturers, what are they worth besides they pussy? Are you over there on a date with a woman and she's got her kids and her babies. That's back true. Now? If a woman is not, if a woman, that's true. I know a bitch who 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 who, who got her child. In another state. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
because she out here doing what the fuck ever she got to do in the industry. So I'm chasing my dream, my mama watching mm. my son. But in, in my mind, I say to myself, Mm-mm. that ain't no bitch you be with. <laughs> you can't be with no bitch like that. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The word mother is the closest word to God. To what? And if this, To God. That's mother, what's closer to God yeah. than mother? It don't That's the no portal. God go through. God go through the mother. Talk about God now. To put, I didn't say Jesus. That sucker shit they taught you. <laughs> That's this sucker nigga shit. About to pass the plate. <laughs> the doors of the church are open. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck? God gives you your child. The woman is the portal. Boom. Yep. God's portal. She like the she like the the State Farm agent from God. If you really think about right. that shit, through yeah. her you can receive your your Blessing. child. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and what's Lord. more, more? And if she ain't a nurturer, Ooh. what the fuck is yeah. she worth? Yeah. She's a mercenary if she's not a nurturer. <laughs> that's real. Well, and that's what society has turned a lot baby. of women into mercenaries. But what I'm talking and about is the, Zoe, the, as deep as yeah. fuck. Yeah. They'll yeah. use the portal. <laughs> yeah. They'll use the portal. And show and bring something down through God. Do some bullshit. And they won't allow it. And leverage the portal. Yeah. Oh, they I won't think. allow what God tried to send to make it. It's called abortion. The number one <laughs> killer in the hood. That's why they mercenaries Ooh. for real. Mm. But they'll talk about R. Kelly knowing they done murked kids. R. Kelly just fucking the kids. Y'all killing them. Oh, Shit. my God. Here we go. Whoa. Where are we? Oof. What? Oh. I'm just saying. What I'm saying is this. I'll bring it back to, to the real shit. So, based on what you're saying with discernment, where you go from uh, yeah, nurturer yeah. or mercenary, it's women who are mercenaries who are really good at acting like nurturers. But you ain't But they dumb. can only keep yeah, the act up for you. so long. Yeah, but you yeah. you know, but I can't get time back either. So I'm looking for what's what do you the want? quick? Do you how do we know? get? To, what do I got to leave a hundred dollars and see if the bitch is taking? Like I need, I need some tests. No. Goddamn, no, right no, now. Well, shit. then you can't. You got to patience. Nay, you ain't stupid. You can't complain. It's right. You can play stupid. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I've done things in my life that I know I wasted valuable years mm-hmm. knowing the truth, knowing I've seen everything I need to see. That's you get what I'm saying? Ah. So that's why I can look at anybody and tell them, listen, man, you know. If you don't know, can't nobody say you anyway. Right, <laughs> that right. Means you know. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if, uh, if you, you, like I'm saying we men, so I'm talking about women. Women could, I mean, D might talk about men. And if it you flips. around a motherfucker, if you around a motherfucker that be on that type of bullshit uh-huh. that ain't about shit, mm. and you keep them around you, that that's your way. Uh, that's your that's your living hell on earth. Yeah, you a masochist. Damn, what does you that like word pain. mean? You like pain. Bring you, it you on yourself. You inflict pain like on pain. yourself. Yeah, You're a masochist. Glutton, yeah. glutton for punishment. Glutton for punishment, yeah. Uh-huh. I think people yeah. will have problems admitting they are a masochist. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people who... Uh, it, it, it's easier who to blame in pain. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. They no, sit also, in pain. Also, I think they're just very comfortable and they don't want to... They fear seeking out something else and yeah. they're just going to stay with that it's like no I don't want to yeah. do the work to get I'm just going to stay Yo, there's with also, there's, but then I you call it the, I call it the battle between claiming and blaming mm-hmm. ah. and most people would rather blame yeah. than claim yeah. yeah so let me ask you this Zoe mm-hmm. do you think if you under a woman she is supposed to follow your lead or is it supposed to be a democracy where is it it's is is it's like both of y'all lead. I think if I, if you in your truth as a man, she going to follow you. Right, with nothing to hide. Sure. But if you want some bullshit, she going to resist you and she going to fight you, she going to do all types or of shit. Or not deal with it at all. Or not deal with it, that. but she going to be on some bullshit if you want some bullshit. She going to reflect back exactly what you given her. Now, if you want some real shit, some honest shit, you done got over your bullshit. She'll respect that. Especially, like, I always. I don't believe that. Listen, Mm -mm. you respect yourself? See, that's that's a key piece. A lot of niggas don't respect themselves. A lot of niggas, let me show, a lot of niggas leverage their wallet (coughs) because they don't have the character to pull in a woman. Right. But but do you think so? They lack self respect. They think the wallet got more respect than their actual character can garner. Definitely, but do you feel like the man should lead? Hell yeah, and I'm gonna tell you why. But uh, uh, when when we say, do I feel like a man should lead? Only rare men have the ability to lead. 
most men are not really men, shouldn't even have the title of man. Mm -hmm. They should be more like male. You just, you the, you the nigga with the little mane. You're not the full-fledged lion. And they're, those are rare motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And most women get to run roughshod over them niggas with the half manes. Whereas the nigga with the full mane, they have to capitulate to him because mm -hmm. he don't even have to ask for you to, to respect him. He doesn't. Exactly. He commands exactly. it That's as right. opposed to demanding it. Because right. you see that mane. Right. You see that man, you know, oh, okay, you know this nigga right here is a lion for real. <laughs> you know what I I hear you, bro. All the I way. feel like this, though. But what, here's what I'll say. Real, let me just say this real quick. Let's stick with that analogy of lions. Lionesses don't have no mane. So it begins to get hard to decipher between a fully developed, grown-ass woman and... A bitch acting like one. You quickly find not out. really. Not really. Wherever I see unidirectional blame, I'm I see a child. That's a blaming and claiming. Unidirectional. Just In other outward, words, one way. Yeah. One way. Unidirectional. You 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 are wrong. Whenever I see that, I know I'm dealing with a child. You a kid. I don't give a fuck how old you are. If you don't ever claim shit that happened to you, nothing. It's always your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Every boyfriend you've ever had was fucked up. Everybody. Everybody oh, fucked up. Everybody. You the prize. I had to hit that nigga with a car. You the prize. Right. <laughs> you the prize in every situation. You or a victim. You You're know. a victim in every situation. Oh, get the fuck out of here. You a kid. Yeah. You a child. And you got, the, you got some growing to do. Fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. Here's what I think. I think it's very rare that you will find a partner who will help you grow. Most True. people are going to be baggage. Yes. Mm. Like yeah. the whole time they're around you, they need something or they saying what you didn't do. That's the average relationship. Right. Most people are weeds, <laughs> not seeds. Right. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Most people and, are... And, and when you're in an average relationship... You just can't do nothing but sit still. But when you're in a relationship with somebody who will show you something different, and in fact, not only just show you something different, listen to what you got to say. Right. I think it's humbling right. because you normally don't even see that shit in a mm -hmm. lifetime. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm talking about really somebody who will show you something that will make you go, Wow. Yeah. Right. You know I, 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 that's what, I never saw that before. Yeah. And on top of that, when you talk, Hear you out and listen. I'm not talking about females or males, I'm talking about just human beings. Yeah, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very rare that you find a person who has mentally matured, right? In America, right? Holding a conversation with most people is very difficult if you are trying to talk to them about something that concerns the both of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you, <laughs> you disagree, right. Right. They talk over you the whole time on purpose where you can't finish your thought. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. And then don't have the self-control to wait while you speak. That's an insane person. Right. It's just because you live in America, you ain't taught that, which is, this is the most important thing to go to school for. Right. To be able to recognize the people who have no self-control where mm. they're going to bring you down if right. you're trying to be around them. Right. Right. If you're taught that while you're young, mm -hmm. by the time you're 30, you're not going to be in a situation with somebody like that because you're going to be like, oh, I recognize this type of behavior mm -hmm. in this person. Mm -hmm. But you find this out through trial and error in America. Right. And mm -hmm. then you 50, mm. 55, 60 before you get out of it. Right. That's what I don't want. See, I got a situation. Exactly, because you won't listen to the No, but I, 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 I usually, no, it's okay to say no, no, your sperm don't swim, Nate, but go ahead. That's silly but i'm saying this like don't have no electrical charge i usually have strong discernment like that's a gift that i have to discern good. from person to person but in this particular case i'm like is is it something or am i manufacturing it they say your sperm like that pit bull gets shot in um in what <laughs> no country for old men you look like you skin animals <laughs> Literally, this a dermy hat on. <laughs> Taxi <laughs> dermy, this nigga stuffs foxes. <laughs> Take your time, Nate. Right. Take your time. That's no, all I'm Nate, saying. Nate, do you, 
I I I just be joking. I don't know if your sperm swim or not, but I'm just saying, <laughs> sperm's just <laughs> niggas, big exactly, funny babies. Yeah. Every nut bust, have you ever, have you ever, big funny babies, <laughs> <laughs> big funny babies. Every nut bust. Have you ever had to go with a girl to the abortion clinic? Yeah, nigga. Okay, I'm well, not you good, it. nigga. I'm careful, is what I am. Thank you say you have though, right? You don't own them, not in them, nigga. You don't right. want to keep shooting up the club. Thank you. Oh! Have you ever oh, been to? A, have you ever been to a beheading? Oh, oh, take me, give me my hat. They call it abortion because it sounds right. Have you ever been to a beheading? A beheading. <laughs> I've, been to, I've been on a field trip before. <laughs> okay. It's just like that movie, The End of Braveheart, when they what they were saying. He's That's, shooting out gummy sharks, <laughs> nigga. What? <laughs> that nigga right there thinking outside the box, boy. Weldon C is insane. <laughs> That's just I skeet to my belly button. He's like, hey, Zoda Meg. <laughs> now, nah, man, it, it, it's very difficult to choose a partner and have it work out successfully in America. And I just feel like it's not fair that they they don't prepare you for the failure that <laughs> normally comes. Not busters. You just you just go to school, you pay for that education, or you graduate in debt for an education that probably ain't gonna even get you a job. Mm. Then you're not even educated on how relationships go. So mm. even if you get some money, you owe it. <laughs> you know what wow. I'm saying? Have you ever thought about that? That That's shit is awful. Cycle. It's good if you get somebody. First thing, the motherfucker got to have heart, the person you with. Because you can work with heart, even mm. if they are misdirected. Mm. Right. You can work with somebody who has a heart because they ain't necessarily trying to chop you down. Right, and even if it doesn't work out, y'all still be okay. Right. He said, Corey is Wyatt Syrup. Oh. <laughs> not Earth, nigga. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> not that's Earth. Funny. Yo, I want to talk about something, man. Like I said, um, social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, it's, it's vehicles to communicate with people and everything like that. But like I said, I don't think it's fair that people can build up these social media platforms and have it taken from them because they might say something that social media doesn't agree with. Mm -hmm. You might say something about somebody's um, gender or whatever, and then your account can just be snatched off from under you. I know this because it happened to me with Twitter. I used to always be on Twitter, but Twitter wants me to beg for that account back, and they've done this three times, and I'm just not willing to beg no more. We so, on another level, nigga. We on another level. So as, <laughs> as, as fate has always done to me, as I'm... You know, I, I don't have a lot to complain about in this world because somehow a way always pops up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like I can't never say the world is fucked up because I always find a way. Uh, somebody say I'm on iStar. I pay for both of your pages. Yeah. That's what I was going to talk about. It's iStar. iStarVids.com. You have to go to iStarVids.com because there are other iStar sites that aren't what we're talking about. But iStar Vids is a place where you can find content that belongs to me. Zoe has a page as well. Yep. Um, a lot of people are going to start getting these pages where you can put your content and communicate with people without worrying about saying the wrong thing yep. and getting your account taken. Well, on my iStar page, I don't care what you type in. Yep. The only thing I won't allow is people to threaten each other because I know that can go bad fast. Right. But, you know, people who got strong opinions about different things, you can say that shit on my page. There's right. no insecure shit going on. And on top of that, I'm going to be producing videos, hey. small movies yep. hey. that all my subscribers will be able to watch free. Now, to subscribe on my page is only $2.00. A Two month bucks. that's twenty four dollars a year, boop. And I'm saying like I really wish all my fifty one fifty followers would subscribe to my I Star Vids page because I'm trying to get away from all of the stuff that will block me from the work I put in to you know the social media links. Yeah. So let what me give them this real quick. It's V I D Z. Mm. V I D Z and Corey's page is fifty one fifty freedom. My page is Zo What I Star. 
The whole fifty one fifty clan. D gotta get a page. Yeah. Yeah, I saw some. Oh, show no, we we gonna, we gonna show that. Nate the game. Yeah. But yeah, to everybody everybody who everybody who subscribes to me, I'm gonna start putting my fifty one fifty shows on iStar Vids. Fifty one fifty freedom, uh, freedom page. Um, um What'd you say, Nate? I said, Yeah, I'm excited to meet the dude. I'm supposed to something with Wednesday for me. Yeah, I mean this is a this is um something that this other guy, this guy, this brother they named want you to Jerome. type it in, Frank. You see, that's why I missed the fifty one fifty show last it's week. I flew up there. The chat. Yeah. It's yeah. It'll come in the chat. It's something different. It's something different, and I'm so glad they came out with something different because motherfuck Twitter. I will not kiss your ass to get that page put on. Yeah. Because I feel like I didn't do nothing that a page deserves to be taken from me. Hmm. Are right. you fucking serious? We don't you like know? the way you talk, Corey. Yeah, I put in work. This is how I make a living. Right. This is how I make a living. And what makes it so bad? It's like, as soon as I start fucking with Facebook, it was the same group of bitches, the mm. bare-built bitches, they found that started you. saying stuff to me on Facebook, but I don't say nothing back to them. Right. I see why people just make it where you can't talk to them on their page. Right. I, oh, I'm, yeah, because I, you have to follow them. Right? I interact with people. Mm -hmm. I, I say people be like, man, that motherfucker got 19 followers. You speaking to him? Yes. Right. Right. The motherfucker said something to me. Right. I'm not above anybody, but my I star vids. Uh, it's called Fifty One Fifty Freedom. That's a good one. There, there it is. is. There you go. Right. Istarvids.com is what you do on your laptop. You can join there on the laptop, but also you can download the app. The app you'll see it's black and gold with an A and the star is on the top of the A. It's the fourth app. It's the fourth app. Exactly. It was the second on mine. Now I talked to a couple people. I talked to Jerome before we came in here. Who's Jerome? Australian. Jerome is the guy who developed this whole platform. That's the Australian uh, nigga. I, yeah. Okay. Well, no, he's he's South African. Okay. But yeah. That guy. He said people who are having issues with androids because i told him a lot mm. of our our followers that were trying to get on with the app were having issues android users okay he said all you got to do is take a picture of the error you receive uh -huh. and email it to me vor106 at gmail.com i'll send it to him and he was like We'll fix it immediately. Nice. Yeah. It's so, a new app, guys. Brand so, new app. So, as we work out the kinks, we appreciate anybody who has, um, who, who will go to the page. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. All the videos aren't on there for you to subscribe. But yeah. The only video that I have that you can't watch unless you subscribe is my special. Oh. The um, Book of Corinthians. And I think that's, that's only fair. Yeah, it's for the subscribers right now. And I'm going to add different videos like these songs, mm -hmm. like the songs we make. When they are perfected, they will be put on the site for the subscribers. Yeah. I, I really, I never really hustle subscribers, but I need subscribers for this. Yeah. So I can make this app work and build what I'm trying to build. Because yeah. we could put a movie on this app. Oh, yeah. We could put a lot. Man, I'm going to be doing relationships. YouTube, you stuff. can't put a whole movie on that motherfucker. No. YouTube yeah. cuts off after a certain mm -hmm. amount of time. Mm -hmm. And then what's going to happen? This, you can is have like a, up to a four hour movie, he said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we still going to use that YouTube. Play straight. Yep. And they be making them funny skits, mm -hmm. you know. So this is this is a this is something new out yeah. there. You don't have to fuck with Insta Google. Insta Google. <laughs> That's what I call so the, them, motherfucker. The other technology. all that shit where you can get blocked out of your own fucking page that you put time, effort, and any energy that you into. Developed. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't do that no more, motherfucker. Twitter. So it's it's kind of like a combination between Instagram and YouTube. Oh, wow. The video technology that he has on there is in 7K. What? So what happens is he's taking all of our videos from Somebody YouTube. Somebody say, but you're special out on YouTube already. Well, we had it taken down. We had it yeah. But I'm just saying, uh, uh, K-Stack, some people just want to subscribe because they just show love off that shit. And right. you know what I'm saying? Some people ain't see the special all the way through because dude had... Dude who hacked into my shit or, or, or whatever did that scandalous shit, which, damn, I'm, you I know texted I, you that shit. I'm like, nigga, this yeah. nigga got your No, it took me, I had to. But this is perfect because I found the nigga who did all it. Of that shit. The scandalous nigga used his uncle's credit card oh. to create an account. He an all out pussy nigga. Damn it. All out pussy nigga. I know he thought we couldn't find him because he hid. Mm. <laughs> but everything you do on the camera. 
I mean, everything you do on a computer is traceable. It's traceable. Yeah, the ISBN. Yeah. So it's like I'm. I, I was gonna. I was gonna take the nigga to court and shit. Right. But this nigga popped off. He used his uncle credit card. He put his people out there. <laughs> but I know who you are, nigga. So right. real fans got that USB dog chain. That's right. right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Right. And I waited before I put it out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to have a lot of other videos on there. Um, I was mad as shit, nigga. I was in the comments like, nigga, take this down. Kind of bullshit ass support. Oh, right. he was a bitch ass nigga. He, man, nigga. Look, nigga, I just want you to know. I know you. We got a picture of you. Why you was doing the shit? Because everything on the computer is traceable, bitch, nigga. So we I wanna you. we want everybody that's watching us right now. If you support the fifty one fifty show, go to iStarVids.com on your laptop or download iStar the app on your phone and go subscribe to fifty one fifty freedom. And so what I start Go do it right now Show that support Rock with us What the <laughs> fuck what the is f- going he on He just mooned us Ass for days my nigga He just crawled when under I the table you, and Special level You ain't gonna make ass. it to the bathroom She, she, gotta pee. Right now. she might as well She about to pee on herself she, God damn but that ass was Ow! This shit hit you out. Of, it hit you out of nowhere. Run, run! She running to the bad. Run, boys! The champ is here. Anyway, now I put that out there. We are gonna have some yeah, before man. we before before I drop this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little video I shot about the I Star vids, and uh, like I say, it's 5150 Freedom, and uh, we I appreciate all. all I appreciate. All your support. You don't have to subscribe, but I'm just letting you know I'm going to have videos on there that's only for the subscribers. Yeah. Um, because you worth it to me, and that yep. ain't no fake shit. I always want to feel like I'm doing something that's worth it to you to fuck with me, vice versa. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up, man. Right. That's good shit. Hell yeah! God damn it, we um. You in town? They say the app is acting up right now. It's probably because it's probably Android. Everybody just poured into it all at once. They yeah. probably ain't used It'll to that shit out. like that. But I just all realized you. I realized how many people watch this show per week, and I'm telling you, man, it's like wow. Thank you, America. Hell yeah. Thank you, America. Y'all fuck with me. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that shit is real. And they everywhere. I got to start having more edge on these shows. We got to bring dysfunctional people like like Bobby back and shit Bobby. like that. So yeah. Bobby can act like he know what he talking about and I can just ride that shit. <laughs> I know my, my rights. Right. It's my, my opinion, factual, it factual it's, opinion. It's my factual opinion. <laughs> I remember he said that shit. We was dying. <laughs> my factual opinion. My factual opinion. Put my foot on a rock. I don't wash my ass. That nigga say, I'm so gay. I don't wash. I'm so, I'm so heterosexual. I never clean my ass. My ass don't get touched. <laughs> Sorry. Ain't nothing gay I'm gonna about. I'm going to set you up with a tranny. Ain't don't say gay about clean your ass. <laughs> is, it, is it gay if you take baths after you shit so you can um, finger pluck the, the Twizzler clean? Is that gay? Cause I do that. I ain't even gonna lie. I finger pluck my Twizzler. I'm not even that's, sure what part yeah. of this is the Twizzler. The Twizzler is the um. That's good. It's the line. I'm, I'm gonna go on and say that. They go from <laughs> what they the go from fuck? the asshole to the inside of your body. <laughs> that little tunnel. You talking about your anus, nigga? The tunnel that the shit go through. <laughs> your sphincter, nigga. Sphincter. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go on and say I that's good. You're literally describing your asshole. It's called. We call it a Twizzler on this show. <laughs> do we? The little Twizzler. That nigga said, "Do we?" <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so folks keep saying Bow Wow. Yeah. Everybody know Bow Wow took a ass whooping. We saw them pictures. He he went to jail for getting in a fight <laughs> that was a draw with a girl he was fucking with. Ain't that fucked up? Well, you go to jail is because you knocked the bitch out. God damn it, Bow Wow! Stop! Don't don't be nice to the bitch. Next time, knock the bitch the fuck out. Look like he ain't hit her at all. He yeah, did. I don't think he did. I think uh, I said it was a draw because he a man, and I'm trying to right. keep his motherfucking what up. <laughs> D, did you shit real quick? D went and pissed. You made it. D, why you didn't bring up what happened with Bow Bow Wow? Did everybody asked about Bow Wow. <laughs> they said Corey got fisted. 
You talking about the dude who, who the dude and got, got Jesse? What's his name? Smollett. Jesse Smollett. That's the dude who got shit poured on him, right? Oh no. Bleach. They put bleach on him. Yeah. Is that they what they put, put on? Around his neck. Put a noose around his neck and bleach. Yeah. They tried to clean this nigga. Yeah, they put bleach. They on disinfected him. this nigga with a noose on. Like your hat. They bleach that shit. I got little bleach spots on my head. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so D, we finna wrap it up. Is you gonna crawl back over here? No, no. Yeah, you was. Yeah, and you mooned everybody. I'm sorry, I had to go to the bathroom. I didn't have a problem with that part. <laughs> of the go to the experience. bathroom more often, like that. Yeah, oh crawl your ass. It was definitely there. a gift. Merry it Christmas. Was Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it was a full ass blessing. <laughs> Some people ass be blacker than their body. D D ass is pale well, like a face. And, yeah, that motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga said her ass is pale like her face. <laughs> and then she said, when it's greasy. <laughs> this nigga dumb as hell. <laughs> boy, this boy is a fool. He need to tan her ass. <laughs> tan your ass, D. Get out there in the sun. Shit. We saw the top half of your ass, D. I ain't gonna lie with you. Yeah, and you, you got on one of them body suit. suits that you didn't have. Booty roof. Yeah. You didn't have buckled. We seen the cheek lids, nigga. The who? The, the cheek, cheek lids. Her booty cheek roof. lids. <laughs> <laughs> cheek lids, nigga. The booty <laughs> roof, nigga. <laughs> That's a thong. I black thong. Your thong is on the right hand part of your ass. No, it she ain't got in a the thong middle. With a, like a liner thingy on there. It was <laughs> like a fan. That thing was up a little bit. <laughs> the liner was at the top. It, was, I, hey, it I, just I, slid up. Hey, I wouldn't worry about none of that shit. It was like one of them lace fans. Yeah. Look, look, look. Jerome from uh from thing. What did he say? Servers are overloaded. So I told you. I told this it. nigga yeah. won't get the last yeah. thing on. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, Jerome. You better get ready. Man. I got gr- they fuck with me. Hey, y'all. Yo. From 5150, please be patient with this shit. That's good. Be patient with the shit because... You know, this is a new system. They didn't. They didn't know y'all was finna hit them like that, my dude. Boy, <laughs> yeah, that's what we talking about. But that's the he only said. One. I am adjusting them now, <laughs> nigga. That's because you didn't pay for the big account. <laughs> <laughs> we know that shit because we got the. Remember when we first got the uh, cartel account, uh-huh. and we didn't have what it take to put on. You got hey Jerome, you got the upgrade, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Big fifty one fifty land, nigga. Yeah. I yeah. love y'all. Somebody said we broke the app. Yeah. Right, they said they broke the app. <laughs> <laughs> it's Trina there. Yeah. Yeah. Trina there too. <laughs> Alright, so we gonna wrap this shit up, man. I hope they kill you, you up in there. <laughs> right. Jago <laughs> <laughs> what that nigga was? <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus, let me kill this nigga. <laughs> hey, so seriously, don't forget, he's going to upgrade this shit. He's going to make it so everybody can get in here and subscribe. Y'all got to do it. We still working out the kinks, but trust me. We on the ground floor of this motherfucker. We on the ground floor. We appreciate y'all. I know y'all going to fuck with me, and I promise y'all, I'm, a, I'm finna put some real effort and coming soon it's also gonna be on the app 5150 Church uh oh it's gonna air every Sunday it's oh. coming soon 5150 oh, Church Jesus. <laughs> I look right at Nate on time they said oh, oh sweet Jesus <laughs> <laughs> you coming to church Nate 5150 Church coming out Just it's gonna air it. on Sundays this ain't gonna be the only show on my channel Oh, this is this Jesus. is uh, Nate. <laughs> Nate like <laughs> oh, I counted six shots, nigga. <laughs> I counted two guns, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nate father gonna have a talking to him. He gonna be like, I don't want you around that nickel. Uh, I don't that, care what he did for you. Don't be around that nigga. Get that I star vids. What's more important, nigga? Your comedy life or him? Sing this congregational song with me. Tell me what you think about Jesus. He's all right. That's old school. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm listening to you. That's old school. That's an old school gospel song. Back when I was a kid, I used to be in church like, He's all right. Uh-huh. Somebody say Rhinestone Cowboy. <laughs> Fuck that shit. This had sexy than a motherfucker. <laughs> Who's singing hats? 
Elton John. <laughs> so turn them on. Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson singing hat. <laughs> What's John one of his songs? Denver. John Denver. John Denver. Pink. Uh, uh, Rocky Prince. Mountain High. <laughs> yeah. Prince. Raspberry Beret. Prince used to wear hats sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You look like Von oh, Miller. Nigga. Von Miller. <laughs> <laughs> like Von Miller Light. <laughs> Ron Miller Light. <laughs> All right, so check it out, man. We appreciate y'all for fucking with us. Thank you for making that server overload because I told this dude I got a nation behind me, and I appreciate y'all. I'm proud of y'all. Thank you for watching the show. We'll see y'all next week with another banger. Peace. Crazy. All right.